हेलो कोई नहीं चीवा हेलो हेलो सर बेटे की इस थैंक यू फॉर द नाइन मंथ्स ऑफ क्वेरी थैंक यू फॉर बी अपना मेंबरशिप वेलकम बैक जय इस थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर द टेन गिफ्ट मेंबरशिप्स थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द गिफ्ट मेंबरशिप्स हेलो एवरीवन ओके रियल क्विक दो रियल क्विक आई हैव इट सेट I have it set to loop. The opening to, I have it set to loop, okay? I can show you the setting is wait. Here. Let me let me go grab it. Where is it? I have I swear to you. I have it set to loop, okay? I <laughs> I have it set to loop. Um but like it just does not want to oh wait hold up i should i should censor that one um sammy hello thank you so much for reaping the membership thank you thank you thank you so much for the one year quite you quite okay look hang on hang on let me show you let me show you chat okay wait where's the okay image image import Ginger snaps. Thank you for the seven months. Thank you, thank you. And Ichi, hello. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the four months. Thank you, thank you. All right, chat. Look at this. Look at that. You see that? I have it set to loop. I have it set to loop. <laughs> it's it's right there. Loop, right? And. I don't know why it just doesn't want to loop. It just keeps bugging out, and I don't know. And yes, like that's my file path for the thing, like OBS assets, video assets. I have it all separated out to like image assets, video assets, um, sound assets, and music assets, and all that. So, like, it's in there. It's there. It's just loop. I don't know why it does not loop. It does not loop. Chat. Why will why will that not loop? I don't know why, but it does not loop. <laughs> All right, brother. I require loops. Brother, give me the loops. <laughs> Alice is okay. Thank you for the one month. Early enjoy your break. Have a good rest. The coins rely on each other. Relax in the pond. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being the membership as well. Okay, okay. All right. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done this, and I think everyone is really like angry because I have not fed them in a while. Um, so let's take a look and see what we. Oh, what are you all doing? Oh, <laughs> they're so cute. Oh, look at that! Oh my gosh, that's oh, that's a lot of chickens. Oh, we have seagulls, sea hens, cute. The weedle things, yeah. <gasps> and then we have our little explosive ringtails, the ones that have my favorite faces. It's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're all angry. We have not fed them in a while. We have to get the food. All right. But first, uh, we need to figure out what has been introduced into the game. And I feel that a lot of it's in the fabricator today. Rizzy, thank you for the one year. A year sitting around the koi pond. Thanks for the fun year and avoid nibbling the koi so you're gone. Have a restful break. Thank you. <laughs> Just Alice, thank you for the one year. Comfy koi Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <gasps> what? No way. Whoa. Oh my god, they changed this. Oh, it's so easy. It's so much easier to see and read. No way. Oh, <gasps> okay, okay. Upgrades. Oh, that's so good. No, that's so cool. Oh my god. Power core. We're, li we're missing. Oh my goodness. A tank guard saves energy. Okay. Pulse wave. Wait, do they have... <gasps> Oh, we need to find a storage cell somehow. You have everything except for the storage cell. Kayane, thank you so much for the upgrade to Navigator. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Okwadi, Okwadi. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's... What? <gasps> what are these things? There's so many things here. Wait, okay. A dash pad? Okay, we know this one. This one's pretty standard. 
uh, advanced gorgeous snare standard, hydro shower, large amounts of tar. Ooh, turret, med station. Okay, these are pretty. Okay, most of these, attention flag. Useful marker for when you need to call attention to something. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay. Easy breezy fan? Cool down on a hot day, but you're not most ranchers. What is it for? Curious. We don't even know what, what requires it or what, uh, what's required to cook it. And then there's all of these. Oh my god. Warp tech? Okay. All of these warps we already know of. We've had those before, but. There's a few that we're missing, new ones that we haven't seen yet. Ooh. Decorations? Okay. Ah. <laughs> these are so cute. I love these decorations. Okay, but real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, hit V to mark all those red because I cannot handle all those notifications. <gasps> oh, it's so much easier to see these. Oh my god. Dainty teacup? Perfectly fit slimes who are eager to hop inside. It's never practical to fill it with tea. Bountiful teacup. Ooh. A swing? Oh my god. Golden chicken statue. There's so many things here. Like, how do we... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, chat. I will most likely try to go for like an icy, snowy, winter wonderland type of vibes because I really like these um, like frozen things that have like lights inside it. Frozen flame, prismatic energy captured in ice in the shape of a dancing flame. Oh my god, we need to go far more radiant ore. Wait, we can... Phosphor plort? Puddle plort? Perfect snowflake? Oh my god. Oh, cute. Interesting. 20 of something when we don't know what that is yet. Wait, I want to build one of these. Oh, you can... Oh. Oh, okay. So this is where... This is why we need money now. There's a place to spend money now. Ooh, okay, okay. Hang on. I want to build one. Okay. I built one of those. How do I... Okay, this is the... Oh. Chat. No way. Oh my god, no way. Wait, does this mean you can build anywhere? Make a see chat. The last time we had these buildings here, like these root arches, but the problem that the, the thing I didn't like was that Oh my god, you can put them anywhere. No way. What? It's so easy to build stuff. Yeah. Did you get the yolk slime? No, we never found the egg slime. Okay, so like the number one complaint I had with Slime Matcher was that you couldn't build things in specific locations because it's like, or you could only build things in specific locations. And I was like, I wish they could give us a bit more like customization to be able to put things whenever and wherever we want. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, what the heck? When did. <laughs> when did we get a ringtail tangle? What? Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll leave you there. Just enjoy enjoy eating. Oh, it's munching on everything. Look at that. Oh my god. No way. Okay, we have to go farm for a lot of stuff. Oh, <gasps> everyone has a phone call. Even Bob. Ooh. Okay, let's go for one at a time. Ooh. Hello, Beatrix. Seeing as you had taken an interest in building gadgets, I put together a little housewarming gift in support of your both your pr both your pr pragmatic and creative endeavors. Looking forward to seeing what you build. Okay, med station. Two med station. Conservatory table. <gasps> Chairs. Ooh, wait, more? Hello. Hope it's not... Hope it's not too presumptuous, but I got you this. I, um, hope you like it. 
usually I'll use an algorithm to identify appropriate guests, but in this instance, I just sort of winged it. I agree, this spontaneity scares me too. Oh, <gasps> teleporter, let's go. Mochi. Hey, B, got you a gift because, I don't know. Anyway, hope you like it. Or don't. Whatever. Oh, tsin tsin tsin. <laughs> Mushroom. Hey, B, got something special for you. Seemed like the right thing at the time. Oh, but now I'm not so sure. Um, if it's not, please don't tell me. I can't bear to get- I can't bear to hear it. Ooh, tree. How do you- do you like spontaneous gifts? Uh... Not- not particularly, to be honest. <laughs> um, it depends on what the gift is. If it's like, a big object, then it- I would appreciate like a heads up before I get a big object because I don't really have that much space and it ends up just like filling up my uh, my already small living living quarters. <laughs> hey B, I know it's silly, but I worry about the hard work you do out there all on your own. So I sent you a little care package. Hope it gives you a little extra get up and go. <gasps> Ooh, rainbow grass. And Bob, definitely not three slimes in the trench coat. Chicken is good. Doo -doo -doo. Giving two friends, Beber. No, no, chickens, Beber. Thin cave pillar. Aww, Bob is cute. All right. Oh my God. Wait, I want to go. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I think we may have to restart our farm because we have a little bit of a chaotic mess going on here. Okay, wait, let me see it. I just want to check and see if there's like any upgrades that are new. High walls, got those. Music box. Okay, we can get this to help calm them down a little bit. No, so it looks like all of the upgrades are all the same. I see, I see. Ooh, jellystone. Okay, do we have music on this one too? No. Okay. Let's go. Everyone is hangy. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. It glows purple. Whoa. Oh, that's so pretty. I want to fill my entire place with those. Okay, Ringtail Tangle, you've been eating way too much. You stop eating so much. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, but I can't have you eating everything. <laughs> you've just been munching away at the buffet. Okay, we're gonna leave you here for now. Can't, can't have it eat everything. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. Uh, we need to go. I don't know where. Where are the upgrades, chat? The smug face, it knows what it did. It knows, chat. Has a look on its face that says worth it, right? <laughs> it's that, what is it? It's the possum meme image. Um, with the possums inside the box of uh, donuts, I think. And the possum's like, do what you must. I have already won. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. I love that one, it's so cute. It has such a smug aura around it. Oh man. It's so pretty. I wish there was a way to completely turn off the lights and make it like super dark so you can only have it illuminated by those glowy, oh wait, we can do that. We can. I think we can. Okay, let me go throw all these into the fabricator. We don't particularly need money at the moment, so I'm okay with just putting these away for now. But we gotta go check out some other areas. Where should I put the Tango Slimes? Are there new slimes? I don't believe there are any new slimes, but I believe the... The Dervish Slime, I think, has been reintroduced. The little ones of the tornadoes? I think those have been reintroduced to the game, so 
Uh, I think those are one of the, the new slimes. What's with all my ringtails, like, just randomly popping out here? Huh. Ooh. Aww, cute. Oh my god. Can you put the flame on the ceiling? I don't know, I hope you can. I want to see, like, floating ornaments. Okay, let's go ahead and feed our little... These little bunnies. Yeah, a tornado slime, yeah. They're called dervish slimes, and they have a little bit of a... Oh, Snowy Warp Depot. Oh, So cute. Oh, my heart. Oh, they're adorable. Okay, let's go check out the others and see how they are currently handling it. Oh, no. It's been so long. They're out of food. They have no food. We had to get some food for them. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they're all one, two, three, and four of them are all out of food. So we should grab some food. Ooh. They're so cute. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna scoop them all up so I can scoop up the plorts too. And then we'll put the puddle slides back. Oh. Wait, I want to hear the chirp. Give me the chirp. Oh, cute. The little chirps are so adorable. Okay, okay. Let's get some food for the fire plorts. Ooh. How is everyone doing, by the way? I am personally just a little bit exhausted and had to deal with a lot of stuff today. And I'm super tired. Does this have anything? No, we built this and we never used it. <laughs> EB, EB, EB. Shoveled some snow today. Ooh, nice, nice. Doing good, but tired. Yeah. Jet lagged? Ooh. The travel was not too difficult. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We want to save enough for at least keep them a little bit of food before they all uh, poof out of existence. Suffering from too much chocolate. Oh, that's right. I was wondering, today there was like a lot of chocolate um, for sale. And for some suspicious reason, I'm not really sure why, but they were all uh, heart-shaped. And I was really curious, like, hmm, I wonder what the occasion could be. Because yesterday was a totally regular Wednesday with nothing special, so... I don't know. Maybe it's just one of those days, you know? <laughs> Who knows? It's a mystery that we'll never, we'll never understand. Maybe... Okay, this is what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking maybe the factories just had, like, a miss... Like a, like a a misprint, miss like a mistaken order where they just made a whole bunch of heart shaped chocolates, right? And you know, like they didn't plan for that. There's no like big event or anything happening, but they just made a whole bunch, and they're like, you know, we gotta get rid of all these, so let's put them on sale. I'm sure that's what happened, you know. Probably heart health awareness, that too, exactly, right? No other reason than that. All right, let's take a look at some of these. Uh, other areas. I'm really curious to know what do I do with the tangle slimes? I don't have like a place to put them because there's just so many it's all of it's taken up chat. All these places have been completely filled up with with resources from the previous oh my gosh look at all these oh then we got the honey walruses oh cute what do we have here? Angler tabbies? Oh. <laughs> oh, they're so cute, but they're also hungry. Okay, let's get some let's get them some food. Oh my god. Okay, wait, it can't be this one. Gotta get some Yeah, sea hens. There we go. Okay. Get some get them some food. Consume my babies. 
All right, and over here should be some more. There we go. Scoop up a whole bunch of these. I w wait, I wonder, do we have them filled with like elders? No, surprisingly, we don't really have that many elders in here. Interesting. So it looks like they just continue to eat, but then the hens don't continue to reproduce. Thunder cluck. Oh, that's right. Ooh, oh my god. It's been a hot minute chat since I played, so I'm trying to like remember all these things again. Oh, so happy. Now that they've had a chance to eat, look how happy they are. Oh, adorable. My heart. Ah, oh, they're so cute. Tired from school, want to work on OC surfy to promote, but can't draw for the life of me. Ooh, take it slow. Take it slow. One step at a time. You don't need to go from uh, a draft all the way to like finished all the way, you know, in a single night. I take it slow and easy. Work it bit by bit. Does Anglers mix a tabby slime catfish? Yeah! Alright, I had to clear out some of this. I don't know where to put the- oh wait, hold up. <gasps> I think I know. I think I know. I am going to go put the tangle slimes where the silo was, because we're not currently using the silo. So let's put them in there to free up that space, and then... Wait, there you go. There's a certain limit to how many can be in a pen, so hens do hens make baby if that's the limit. Ah. Okay. What are you, what are you doing here? Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's clear this out because we have enough money to afford this. Uh, let's get a. Ooh, wait, hold up. Anything new here? Pond, incinerator, silo, coop, carton. No. Okay, these are all the same. And then we're going to give um, everything. All the trimmings. There we go. Alright, let's go put you here. Oh. They they look like they they turn like ghostly white because of the shade. But they're like a little bit of a pale green. Oh, they're so cute. Oh. Okay, okay. Let us go and scoop up some of those plorts in the previous area because I saw that they were full up, so... They look like cowboy slimes. Yeehaw, partner. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think this one is the egg slime and this one might be the dervish slime because those are the only two that we haven't seen yet. I still have no idea where the... Um, the egg slime is. It's somewhere in like the prehistoric area, but at the same time, I just can't seem to find it. You know what? Here, we'll toss these two. Because I only have two of those. <gasps> Speaking of Cowboy Star, do you still happening before the break, right? Uh, no. The last stream I'll have is the membership stream on the Saturday before. Um, so I will not have... I will not have time to do the Stardew Sunday on... Uh, that week, unfortunately. Maybe egg slimes are rare. That's what I'm thinking. I'm still like... Should I... Should I play Stardew over my break? Or should I not? Because part of me wants to, but then the other part of me is like, I'm, I'm basically gonna finish the entire game. And be like, year 20 when we come back, so... I don't know, Chad. I don't know. Go ahead. Do it. No, but I'm going to miss so many of the events and I won't be able to share them with you all on stream. Remember, if tabby slimes are real, they'd be perfect for shimmery, cuddly like cats. None of the stuff to set off his allergies. Yeah. Man, I wish. I wish. Oh, hold up. We just literally, literally found one in the starting area. Oh my god. Cool, think of the super or cute thing of the super. Man, what is that luck? What is that luck? Okay, I still want an option to just empty my entire tank in one go. Monomi Park, please give give option to just dump my entire backpack. There we go. 
Yeah, in the first 30 minutes. <laughs> Man. Okay. Uh, we've checked that side. We've checked that side. Time to check this side. I... Hmm. I think we might have to do some house cleaning on this one. Because I kind of want to change the cave area into a... What sounds? Sorry, Chad. This sounds a little loud, I think. Okay. Just a tiny bit quieter. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> There's so many of them, Chad. Look at this. There's so many. Oh. Okay, we have to do some kind of house cleaning, though. <laughs> look how smug you look. Oh. Cute. They're all, like, gathering around the trees because that's where the fruit keeps dropping. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we should grab, grab some of these and help feed them. Here you go. Oh, look at them. Om nom 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 nom. Big round full of love and evil thoughts. Nefarious thoughts. Mischievous thoughts. Look at that. Look at that smug face. Who knows what kind of crazy, mischievous, evil, uh, nefarious, and uh, vile thoughts are going on behind those eyes. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I want to rub its ears. Oh. Okay. Okay, wait, we gotta keep we gotta keep looking. Keep looking. Make sure that this all these areas are clear. Anything change here? No, this is just the regular stuff in the background. The smug face is still visible when they go invisible, right? Oh they're so cute. Oh, they're so squishy. Okay. How do I How do I get oh how do I get rid of these? I need to move them away to another place, but there's also way too many of them, and I know that no other place in my ranch can really house them. I want to know where, where, how do I, how do I move them? Oh, they're so cute. I like how some of them have the ringtail face, like the little smug face, and then others have the little hunter face. Oh, look at it. I like how there's a little bit of a variety, like some some of them are uh, more ringtail focused and the other ones are a bit more hunter focused. They're so cute. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, alright. I- oh gosh. Do I- do I just introduce one more plort and then turn all of them into tars and clear them out and then rebuild from scratch? Or- oh my god, look, this is- <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're swarming. Oh no. I can't hug them all. Oh, they're so cute. Look at the little guy. Look at the little guy. Oh. Okay, okay. I can't move. I can't move. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, my heart. Oh. What are you doing? Boop. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all well, stay in here. Stay in here. Hmm. Is there... Oh, do you know what I wish they had? You know how the... Um, you know how these pens have the ability to... I thought there were a lot more of you earlier. Um, you know how these pens have the ability to turn on that sunshade and turn the, turn it nighttime? I wish there was a way to turn on the brightness so that they all are like it's always sunny and therefore it keeps the ringtails in statue form the whole time. That way I think it would be cute to use them as ornaments around but also not uh, overly uh, like fill up all of these. Uh, these little corrals. Oh my god, they're so cute. Look at this one, the little face. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
right here. Let's get them some hen hens. Get you get you some food before we leave. You can they're being tails as decoration. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, let's get them some food. I can't hug the ball. Who remembers that one video of that uh, woman who made that video about... Was it? She was like having a little bit of a, like a breakdown crisis over the fact that she can't hug every single cat in the planet because they're all like super cute and adorable. Anyone remember that? And then like someone took the video and then turned it into a, a remixed song of like, I can't hug every kind of cat. Hanabi, hello. Thank you for joining. Welcome to the Quillette. Welcome, welcome. Oh my god. <gasps> hello, little guy. We don't have anything to feed you, unfortunately. But thank you for showing up. It's a sign of good luck, chat. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Bed in. Hello. Thank you for the super. Vivi in the Quillette. No. Would you peel an orange for the Koi's? Yeah. Do you, do you like, do you want an orange? I, yeah, okay, oh sure. <laughs> Thank you for the super. Wait, can koi fish eat oranges? I think they could. I don't, would the sour, would the citric acid hurt a koi? I actually don't know. I thought you weren't supposed to inter, uh, interfere with the pH of the, of the water too much, right? Tomato boy, thank you for the one year. Okay, okay, thank you for re upping. Welcome back. Oh my god, you're so cute. D Lores, thank you for the nine months. Thank you, thank you. Oh, to be a slime. Imagine just popping out into coming into existence and being all like, I know what to do, I know how to be a slime. They can't eat oranges? I actually don't know if Koi's can eat oranges. I thought that the citric acid would upset the balance of the pH in the water, and then that could cause some, uh, cause some, like, negative side effects. But I have to admit, I don't actually know too much about the specifics of that. Wait, give me just a minute, chat. I'm gonna open my window because it's really hot in my room already. Quick search says that they like oranges. <gasps> Let's go! Koi will swim behind the orange as a group so that each can get a nibble of the pulp. Koi will eat everything except for the skin. This must later be removed from the pond. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so I do have to peel the orange. In which case, absolutely yes, I will peel an orange. <sighs> Pure joy and silliness. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, it is not fair how cute they are. Oh my god. Alright, alright. Okay, so... Hmm. <laughs> I love how the Tabby Cat's number one priority is to always give you a little head boop. That's like the first thing that they always do. I, okay, so chat, I want to- Oh, you're so cute. Look, look, see? They give you a little boop. That's the first thing they do. Whenever they pop out, they come into existence and they see you. They get over to you close, and then they all give you a little boop. Oh. All right, chat. I have to figure out where do we find the recipes to get all of those gadgets. Because I know that there was a big update. The update was called Gadgets for... Or Gadgets My Way. And they featured a whole bunch of automation. And I'm really curious... Wait, hold up. There was something There was something behind there. Um, it features a lot of automation stuff that I kind of want to get. Ah, here we go. Where do I find... Where do I find the recipes, though? Okay, we've already got this a long time ago. If only slimes are real, right? I squish out the slimes, that'd be so cute. But where do we find them? Let us go ahead and search. Travel off 
in the wilderness in search for materials. We're looking for things like this, like this radiant ore. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, that one's new. Wait. Did this place... Did this place used to have earthquakes? Oh, hey. Tangle, what are you doing here? Oh. Cute. Ooh, phosphor. Okay, we need it. We definitely need a few phosphor slimes too. But wait, no, wait, wait. We can pick up phosphor. Uh, baby, we can pick up phosphor slimes anywhere. I believe they spawn globally, so we don't have to pick up any right now. Ooh, why does it feel so foggy? Hang on a minute. Let me check a little. No, it still feels a little foggy. I think it's intentional. Interesting. Interesting choice. <gasps> Another tangle. Cute. All right, let's keep looking. Gonna be, gonna be looking out for more of those resources, radiant ore. Because I think right now, um, plorts are pretty easy to farm. It's the naturally occurring resources, however, that are a bit more difficult to farm because they kind of spawn uh, periodically as opposed to being pretty easily renewable, like ports. Fog from the weather update? Huh? That might be it. No, I can't go up. Oh, oh wait! Nice! Radiant ore. Lucky find. I've completely forgotten where all of these uh, resources are. I think there's like some quicksand that's supposed to spawn around here, but probably not this time. There needs to be a twilight area where it's perpetually at dusk. Ooh. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh. Chat. Oh, this is some here. The the big update, however, that I'm waiting for. One day, chat, we will get the option to pet a slime. Would you recommend starting with slime rancher one or is going straight to two okay? I believe going straight to two is okay. Um Slime Rancher One is a bit of a self-contained story. There really isn't much. Um like, there isn't really that much of a, like, a continuing lore. You just play as the same character, and Slimeatcher 2 takes place in a completely different island. Um, a lot of the lore that takes place in Slimeatcher 1 that does get referenced in Slimeatcher 2 is uh, pretty small and honestly does not change the story or gameplay that much. Um, one of the other ranchers, the fellow ranchers that you have on the phone call that we talked to earlier, uh, Thora, uh, you learn a little bit about her husband's experiences as a slime rancher out here in the wilderness. But beyond that, there's no real lasting gameplay impact. So starting with two is totally fine. Hanabi, thank you so much. Thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get some hearts and chat for Hanabi? Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. There's a ringtail here, I want to keep it because ringtails are so cute, but oh, it eats up a inventory slot. Picked up Slime Rancher, cleared it in a month, finally got two. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I hope you have fun. I hope you have fun. One thing to keep in mind is that Slime Rancher 2 does not have all the features that were included in one. Um, I think right now, the best way to view it would be to consider it to be a side grade as opposed to an upgrade. So that's what the stony egg lamps look like. Oh, that's kind of cute. Ooh. Okay, any more? Oh, another ringtail spotted. Scoop. Oh. <laughs> oh no, they're falling apart. Feline Fortuna, thank you, thank you. That, that was quick. 
Thank you, Fluffy Life for the gift with the five gifted memberships. I'll get some hearts in chat for the gifted memberships. They came out as a group and they were like, nah, this ain't it. And then they had jumped into the ocean. <laughs> okay, I need to remember where everything was. Oh? I hear combat music from the TARS, but I'm not sure. I don't see any TARS. I wonder if they're above us. Because things do happen around. Ah, uh, no. Just barely cannot make the jump. Okay, let's wait for their energy to reheal. And then we can jump over there that way. Yeah. Oh. They have such little pleasant smiles. If your friends jumped into the ocean, would you too? Oh my god, I'm so glad that they asked us that like when we were younger, because if, if my parents had asked me that now, I would have been like, <laughs> zero hesitation. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> like if Metal jumped off a cliff, I mean, like I'd jump off too with the intention of trying to save him, right? But like, no, I, I would not hesitate. In this economy, Mama, Mama Suiji and Papa Suiji just happy that they that I was born a lot earlier and sooner. <laughs> Wait a minute, I think I can make this jump. Oh, what is here? Wheelbarrow. Despite backpack technology making manual hauling devices obsolete, wheelbarrows persisted for their advanced ability to get in one and go wee. <laughs> Cure. Oh, radiant ore, let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> Oof. Man. Oh, we lost everything. No. We need like a better backpack with a stronger jetpack. But we have a new message. <gasps> Victor. Oh, Beatrix. I was up all night trying to synthesize a perfect gift for you. Hypothesizing, testing, throwing my results in the trash, starting all over again. Finally, I discovered an alternate method. Shopping for something online. The process was surprisingly straightforward. Ooh, pinwheel. Nice. Oh yeah, and this, Thora. So, um, in Slime Rancher 1, you see records and logs left over by Thora's husband. Um, but beyond that, there really isn't much story to Slime Rancher 1. So there's like a little bit of callbacks, and if you remember some of the stuff that they talked about, um, it's like a nice little, uh, what would you call that? Not an homage, a reference, I guess, an Easter egg at most. Um, calling back to the previous events of Slime Rancher 1. Where did the Crystal Slime plort come from? Like, how, how did Crystal Slimes get all the way over here? Curious, curious. A callback, yeah. Alright, let us try going to another location then. Probably, preferably one that's not... Ooh... Jellystone. Shinri, I have a question for you. I may have an answer for you. What is the question? Nice to catch up on things with friends on the first game. Yeah, it is really nice. <gasps> More Jellystone. Yeah. I'm a little bit sad about all the radiant ore that we picked up and unfortunately lost by just touching the water. I wish it was a little bit more forgiving, but... Ah, well. That's okay. Let's get going. On the hunt for more objects. Ooh. Ooh. Anything down here? Oh. I bet you there's a chicken inside. <gasps> no, it was a tabby slime. Hello. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Cute, cute. What way do you want to become a streamer? Oh. I've always wanted to be a, a content creator and a streamer. 
and a long, long time ago, I I tried my hand out, but back then, uh, let's just say the technology was not there, so we had to. So the way we had to do it was we had to film in black and white and then color in our streams with color radio. And then by combining black and white film and color radio together, uh, that's how we were able to create content back then. But now that technology has advanced, uh, you know, this is pretty easily accessible. Uh, I've been wanting to give it a second shot. Yeah. Alas, Beatrix. More Beatrix interacts with the slimes, the more slimes she But it's, it's... It's... Oh, look at them. Look at these. Look, they're running around with little blurts. Oh, cute. Man came straight from the 1930s. Streaming since the 50s. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. Oh my god. I love this smile. The smiles are so adorable. Okay, let's go see if there's any resources around here. I have to remember where all these resources kind of spawn naturally, because I've forgotten where all of them do. Or even what's really available. A different time lamb in the Lyceum. Yeah. <gasps> Jellystone. Ellie, thank you so much for re-upping the membership. Welcome back. Thank you for the eight months. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. They're so adorable, chat. I can't help it. Will your group do another song? I have no idea. I'd have to ask the boys. <gasps> Ooh. Where did this come from? Overjoyed statue. The only thing potentially happier than a slime is an overjoyed statue of a slime. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. <gasps> more jellystone, more jellystone. It's so cute when they spring and stack up like a totem pole, right? Uh oh. No, I didn't mean to throw the jellystone away. They are precious. They're so cute. Oh, my heart. Are the koi panions a type of slime? No, oh, they are fish. Koi panions are fish. But they are good friends with slimes. Ooh. Whoosh. Alright, anything up here? Maybe... <laughs> now that I think about it, Maybe it would be prudent to go and grab some of those upgrades to prevent myself from losing my entire inventory if I get knocked out. Uh, just to avoid losing everything again. <laughs> Good, I prefer not being a slime. Yeah. Quays are fish. Fish, fish, fish. Alright, any more here? <gasps> Ooh, Primordi Oil. Oh, I love how purple it is. Do you see that, Chad? I love it. It, like, not only is a little vial, like, very spherical and round, it also has, like, a purple, like, cork on top of it. Oh, my God. It's so cute. Oh. <laughs> I like the purple tint of the liquid. Right? That's what I'm saying. Ooh. Radiant Ore reminds me of Bismuth. Oh my god. Wait, Chad. There's a there's a guy on TikTok who like grows crystals. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. He had this thing where he grew Bismuth. And it's just like watching them grow crystals is like the coolest thing ever. And like apparently the way or the speed at which Bismuth uh, cools influences the structure of the crystals that grow and the size and shape of those and it's like oh my gosh I want that I want that boom slime interesting okay we'll have to come back here later oh there's another one up there 
looks like rainbow rock candy right that's what i'm saying it looks so cool i think if i could get some kind of jewelry like if i had the choice to get any kind of jewelry i would love to get a uh like a pendant or like a necklace made out of bismuth I just love the way the colors shine off of it and like the really cool geometric shapes. Oh my gosh. It's the coolest thing ever. Hmm. I feel like we should head back and try opening that door with the boom slimes. Curious to know where that opens. And I also don't want to risk losing all these things again, but I don't really have too much. Hmm. Let's see how much stuff there is. All this talk about Bismuth reminds me of how much I love Bismuth and Steven Universe. <gasps> Can I be honest? I only watched like the first season of Steven Universe and then my life got too busy so I never ended up watching the rest of it. Um, so I don't really know any of the characters besides like the, the main cast, sadly. I mean, that's... It's kind of what happens with everything. Like, I get involved in it. I get interested. I'm like, oh, this is fun, right? And then life just gets so busy. And then I have to drop it. And then by the time I get unbusy, my life just, you know, other things come up, sadly, and I never get to finish it. Mood, yeah. One of the uh, perks and drawbacks, I suppose, of getting older. Oh, <laughs> cute, cute. Okay, wait, let's go ahead and, ooh. Oh, it's the map thing. Oh. Wait, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, we have not been to this mysterious area. Ooh, look at that. So Rainbow Fields is where we start. This is where our conservatory is. You can see all the, the home here and like the uh, little areas for our pens. We jumped here and now we're this way, but we can go around to the magma, the lava area. And there's something over here that takes us to an island all the way up north that we haven't been to yet. Curious. If you ever want to try watching again, recommend finishing it. It's coming from a person who's watched the whole series and the movie. Ooh. Maybe that's what I'll do with the break. Actually, no, I don't know if I'll have time, to be honest. I <laughs> I will try my best. I will try my best to like catch up on things, but I don't know if I can. <laughs> There's also like all of this here, which I'm not sure if it's a natural barrier that prevents us from going here, or if there's like actually things that we can discover. We also didn't get the map on a uh, thing to like, clear out this fog here too. Hmm. Let's try making our way over here. And we do have a teleporter to go back home in case we run into any danger. So back through, so green, orange, purple, green, orange, purple. So we're looking for orange. Which way do we go? This way? A little bit too far. That way. Straightforward. Yeah, this way. We will come back and pop you later, Gordo. Oh. Look at the little hop it does. The little jump. Oh my god, look at that. Cute. Do you think I'll ever make a ghost slime? Oh gosh, I wish. I wish. Okay, wait. Before we go though, I want to show Oh! <laughs> that little trips. Okay, chat, do you see this? Those glowy mushrooms? I want to fill my entire cave with those glowing mushrooms. Like, if I could, that's what I want. I want the entire place to be illuminated by glow-in-the-dark things. Oh, speaking of glow-in-the-dark things, Chad, speaking of, have you all seen that there is a company out there, apparently, that has been working since, like, 2017, I believe, to try and make fluorescent plants 
Uh, I think they used petunias, I, I think. Um, I saw a video about it. Like, it was a really short, uh, uh, really short. It was a really short short. Um, I believe the company is named, like, Light Bio. And they have their first set of uh, glow-in-the-dark or bioluminescent petunias. Uh-oh. Wait. I'm not even touching the lava. What? How am I getting hurt? I'm not touching lava. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Lava dust. Oh gosh, I love the design of these items. They look so tasty. But yeah, imagine the existence of a slime that only eats rare materials. Oh, that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. You could be such a snob and be like, oh, I see you have a slime ranch, but I have all these rare slimes that are really like difficult to take care of and haha, -ha, you know. Like I can afford to feed my slimes rare like valuables and was it uh organic free range crystals only ha 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 you know <laughs> change your snaps thanks for stopping by hope you have a wonderful night get lots of sleep and good eeps oh they're so cute and look at the fire slime Oh, they're so adorable. Slimes that only eat whole wheat bread, right? <laughs> oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Okay, we can get rid of some of our silky sand and let's get the boom plorts because I want to go back and open up that little area. Or should we? No, it's gonna be, that's going to be a bit of a backtrack. We'll go, we'll open it next time. Let's scoop these up and keep these. Oh, look at those two over there. Cute. All right. I see some more lava dust, so let's scoop that up too. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay, wait. What's going on here, game? Because there's a pile of lava, right? If I touch it, I just take damage. I don't get knocked out. But how is it that touching the water outside the islands instantly knocks me out, but I can stand in lava for a few seconds and not get hurt. Like, what's going on there? Ooh. More lava dust. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Let's go take a look at the map. Hmm. Hmm. There's definitely something here. But how do we get there? I don't know if there's a proper pathway through here. Like, I know there's this... Oh my god. <laughs> no, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't mean to go all the way back. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't have paused right next to the teleporter. Oh my god. Now I have to walk. Now I have to walk all the way back here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Is there a gadget that takes me from home? to another place because right now I think all of my gadgets only go one way from outside back home. Is there a gadget that takes me outside? Oh my god. You might as well get the upgrades, yeah. Okay, warp technology. Home, green home portal, blue ho okay, these are home portals and then we have teleporters. Two, a set of two teleporters that allow you to travel between two locations. Ooh. <gasps> Wait. Okay, we need to get some strange diamonds. Lava dust. Good thing we were collecting a few lava dust. Because we need 10 of each for that. Radiant ore. We also need a bit more. I wonder. It says a set of two teleporters. So if I build... If I fabricate one, 
does it give me two teleporters? Like, one for home and one for someplace else? Or... Oh, it says limit reached, so I guess it's just... Hmm. Oh, it does give you two. Okay, okay. How do I... Oops. G. Add to favorites. Okay. Pink teleporter. Oh, wait, hold up. We should put them in a particular location. Okay, since it seems like we can freely move them around, let's go ahead and put them by the tree. And then just have like a little ring of teleporters by the tree. Like... Oh no, the uneven ground is going to make it a little bit clunky. Hmm... Maybe just outside the ranch, perhaps? Just don't accidentally walk into them, yeah. Oh wait, hold up, we can put them here. Because this is the home portal. So this brings us back home. But, if we plant them like around here... Uh... Place? Okay. Install both teleporters from the same set to create a desired warp route. Alright. Let's see how this works. Installing. How... How long do I have to wait for them to... be installed? A whole... two minutes? Oh my gosh. No! It takes so long. I am impatient. Okay. Let's pick this one up. Okay, we put you down, and then we're gonna cancel the build, so that we have one here, and then we'll take the other one with us, and then find our way back to the lava area. <laughs> Not a whole two minutes, chat, you don't understand. I hate to say it, but um, I have become, my, my attention span has also become very short. I believe it's due to... Uh, social media and just like the internet in general but like this is how they get you you know if this was a, a mobile game they'd be like hey you have to wait two whole minutes or or you could pay out a little cash wink wink nudge nudge to speed up the uh, construction process ha 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 but I know Slime Rancher is not that evil of a corporation so <laughs> TikTok will destroy your attention span. Yeah. This is why I say during my break, I want to go read some uh, trade magazines. I want to go read something like difficult. I want to read something that's a bit challenging, you know? Because I want to get my brain to settle down again and rekindle that old spark ahead for paying attention and studying things, you know? All right, let's keep going. Where are we now? Oh, we're here. Okay, let's go look for... Uh, I believe there are some honey and beeswax in this area, but we also should keep our eyes out for that little uh, map icon to help us open up the whole field. Perhaps biochem. Should I study biochem when I'm what, during my break? Wait, no, I, okay, it's not just biochem, but I also want to study, uh, Unity? I want to try studying Unity during my break a little bit, because I still, I, wa I want to try a thing this year, and a lot of the things that I want to try this year are based on 3D things in VR, so I want to give that a shot. I don't know if I can do Unity streams, actually. Um, I sent my Manachan a message and asked her if it's okay to do that. I know we have permissions to do... Blender, I believe. I think we have the permissions to stream Blender, because I know Magni did it once. Um, but I don't know if we have permissions for Unity. So I'm going to have to go double check with that, see if Manachan's gotten back to me. Um, but like, if I could, I'm going to try doing that. I want to learn Unity too. Yeah. 
Oh, it's a phosphor hunter. Oh, you're so angry. Oh, it's so cute though. <laughs> Never, whenever something's mad, the worst thing you can say is you look so cute when you are mad. It's like the worst thing you could say. But like, I, these slimes though, there's, they are so cute. <laughs> yeah, I heard about the the unfortunate developments with Unity, but I believe it's been addressed. Um, also, that and the fact that like I believe VR Chat is all on Unity, so even if I do things on Blender, like the conversion was gonna be much more difficult. So I think sticking with Unity would be the the prudent option. Oh, you're so angry. You're so cute, though. Oh, man, they're adorable. Shinri's greatest weakness, cuteness. It really is. It really is. I cannot... I cannot overstate how weak I am to cute, like, very cute things. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can. I can scoop them from this distance. Nice. It's a little loud again. Okay, let me just try the music down just a tad bit. Melly? Okay. Unity stuff has been cancelled. In a in a good way or in a bad way. Because I'm going to be honest, I have not Oh my god! Oh <gasps> no way! We found one chat! Oh, a Yoki slime. This slime always looks at the sunny side up. Oh, cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> it's a wee old baby. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my god. Oh, it's so adorable. Do you know what it reminds me of? Oh look it's smile it has a the icon has a little smile look at its eyeballs. Oh cute It reminds me of those um the the, the egg gummies. Does anybody remember those egg gummies? They're like the, the little shark gummies, the little the, the yellow and the white part. We finally got an egg in this trying time. We did. Oh my god, those egg gummies are so tasty. That's what it reminds me of. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> cute. <laughs> no way, that's adorable. Okay, we need to find more. We need to find more of these. <gasps> Ooh, Radiant Ore. That little chirp, I know. It's so cute. It is so cute. Okay. Any more here? Let's be on the lookout for more of those... ...resources. Oh, wait. Egg? Egg? No, no egg. Sadness. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, I want to look at it again. Oh, it's so cute. Look how shiny it is. It reminds you of Kudetama? Yeah. Oh, the little blink. So cute. Oh, my heart. My heart. They're so precious. Okay. Let's see. Any resources? Not that I know. Not that I can notice. Seeing the slimes makes me want a little slime clay figures put all over my desk. Oh, that'd be so cute. What do slimes eat? Let's take a look. Slimepedia. Slimes. Yoki slime. Diet, none. Favorite, none. Oh. Wait, what? They don't eat anything. Yoki slimes are a strange and elusive type of slime sometimes found near wild chickens on Rainbow Island. But unlike tabby slimes, their intent is not to hunt for within their warm golden center lies an enduring love for chickens. 
Such is the power of this glowing affection that sometimes it inspires hens to produce a rare delight, a giant egg full of chicks and yolky plorts. <gasps> oh. Rancher risks. Yolky slams can only inspire the production of giant eggs when nearby chickens are able to reproduce. They're not miracle workers. So, if hens and roosters are too crowded, giant eggs will be a rare occurrence indeed. Slime ranchers should note that giant eggs will only produce yolky plorts when they are fresh and the yolk is still glowing. Plortonomics. This is so cool. Yolky plorts are highly valued for their concentrated nutrients. Nutrients? So they are food. But at the same time, it's also poop? Wait, does... Wait, hold up. Does any other... Any other... Pink Plort's multi-purpose generic substance. Everything from food products to household cleaners. Uh, fluffy quality. Great alternate to cotton. Wait, so they are food. Wait, why would it why would it specify nutrients? Containing an extremely potent variant of vitamin D that allows that allows people to reduce their sunlight intake over long periods of time. Making them popular with cosmetic engineers, deep sea explorers, and gamers. <laughs> I love how I love how the game is self-aware. It's they're self-aware. It's <laughs> Chad. You heard it here, folks. Uh, make sure you get your vitamin D supplements. Um, if you're not getting enough sunlight, getting called up for never going outside. Yeah, we all just got called out. <laughs> but though yolky porks can replace the physical need for sunlight, they can never replace the warmth you feel when it touches your face and the comfort it offers to know when the sun rose once more in your world. To be a stranger to that and still have hope for tomorrow would require the strongest of convictions. Aww. Cute. Wee. Adorable. I want to know what these two are, though. We haven't seen these yet. I believe one of them is a dervish slime, so let's keep our eyes out for dervishes. Hmm. They're trying to make us cry. <laughs> the slide Wikipedia <laughs> The game telling us go touch grass gamers. Oh, ooh, I think I saw a radiant orb here. Ah, I did. Let's go. Any more? Oh, that's really relaxing. Wait, Chad, do you hear that? Here, let me raise the volume a little bit. Oh, that's nice. A gentle rustling of the wind. Oh. I could spend my time just like sitting here. I could leave this on as background noise. Oh, this is really nice. The colors in this place are pretty. They are. Man. Ah, oh, this is really relaxing. All right. I think I see some jelly stone. Or is that radiant ore over there? So let's make our way over and see if we can scoop up some. Oh, ringtail. Cute. We already have many, though. I do want to take them, but I don't have any place to put them. Okay. Is there a jelly stone here? Because I thought I saw one around this side. No, I must have mistaken it. Darn it. That's okay, though. That's okay. Hmm. I don't see anything around here. Let's keep going. You have so many of them. I do. Ah, uh, 
but I do have to make a decision at some point about the cave because there's way too many ringtails, uh, ringtail hunters in there. Ooh, gotcha. Nice. Um, honeydews. There's a few honeydews, but we don't have any, um, the butterfly ones to really make them worth. Oh, cute. I love the golden, like, shiny color of it, and the little honeycomb that they have on top of their head reminds me of chocolate. Honey and chocolate. That sounds like a really nice combination, doesn't it? I think I say this every single time uh, we play... <laughs> Every single time we play uh, Slime Rancher, but it always reminds me of honey and chocolate. Oh, I want to bite into it. Sounds a little bit too sweet. Yeah. Ooh, lots of buzz wax over there. Man. Ah, oh, this is really relaxing. Have tried it before, a little too sweet for me. I think it's one of those things where like, you have to try it in very small amounts, just like a single bite. Like, I'm thinking maybe like a, a Hershey's Kiss size amount. Nothing too much. Don't bite the slime's head, but they're so, they look so, so cute. I know it's both um, the fact that they look tasty and cuteness aggression. I wonder, is there anything behind the waterfall? Does not look like it. Okay. Sometimes games hide things behind waterfalls. Let's see, any more? Hmm. Oh, ooh, mint melons. Cute aggression. It is cute aggression. My goodness. Always check behind the waterfall. Always. Oh, wait, hold up. There's another of the statues that we haven't filled up yet. It looks like a regular pink slime. Huh. Okay, wait, hold up. Let's put these mint melons down here and then grab a pink plort. Can we scoop it up from the ground? Yeah, we can. Perfect. Ooh, let's see what's inside. Wait, I think we've been here before. <laughs> this place kind of looks familiar. I think there's like another door around here. <gasps> no, they're just different caves. Oh my god. Do you see how that's lit up, Chad? Oh my god, I love these. I love how these like fluorescent. Oh. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I want my entire room to be filled with glowing fluorescent shrooms. <gasps> Ooh. What's inside here? A roots tangle. Often mistaken for tree trunks, these are actually roots. Some trees can grow to massive scales. Ooh. Sounds dangerous? Ah, oh, no, but here's the thing. The reason why I want that is, in my mind, I envision... Um... Okay, Chad, do you guys remember those little glow-in-the-dark stars that you would stick onto the walls and the roots? Or ceiling, I mean, not the roof. Ceiling. That's what I imagine. And like that's what I'm thinking about when I whenever I see those. I just think to myself, like, oh, like I see these and it's like glow in the dark stickers, you know? Like that's what I want. I just aged seven years, I forgot. <laughs> but like that's why I want it, because I a long, long time ago, I used to have those. And I, my favorite thing was like right before bed, I would turn on the lights and leave them on so that they would charge up as much as possible. And then I would turn them off. And then for about, oh, like 10 minutes, it wasn't that many um, because back then they were pretty weak. 
So about 10 minutes later, they would disappear. But for those 10 minutes, you could kind of look up at the walls and the, the roof of your uh, bed or your like bedroom and just see like this amazing cascade of stars. And I just love that. Yours is plugged in? No, mine was the the, the hard glow-in-the-dark plastic ones. Um, they worked best like if you shined a flashlight at them for a few seconds. But like those are the only ones I had, unfortunately. Ever had stars fall in your face? No. Most of the stars I had were on the wall, and only a few were on the ceiling. Ooh. Give me fairy lights, hot glue gun, clear tape, and I can make some. <laughs> oh gosh, I want to get some fairy lights too. I used to have those uh, back in Ronin College. <gasps> Wait, this leads somewhere, doesn't it? Where does it go again? Oh, it just leads back here. Oh, so that's why it was familiar to me. That's because we fell down through here. Oh, okay, okay. Eris Lux, hello. Thank you for the nine months. Thank you, thank you. Goody, goody. This whole chat. This hole was made for me. Hmm. So, uh, hang on a minute. Hang on a bit. Okay, do you see the, the top left corner? Starlight Strand. 12 out of 31. I think that's what we gotta do. We gotta get those um, little treasure chests. There's 31 of those here, and we found 12 of them already. So that leaves us with, what? 19 more? Wait, chat, do you not know the reference? The This hole was made for me reference? So there's a um, comic by Junji Ito called The Fault, uh, Ami, Ama, 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 Ami Gara Fault? Is that what it's called? I forget. Um, but basically, the story goes that there was a massive earthquake, and then it like split open the side of a mountain. And what people have noticed was on the side of the mountain, there were these like strange humanoid shapes. And um, people were like, oh, these must be like ancient carvings made by people long, long time ago. Ami, Amigara Fault. Yeah, the enigma of the Amigara Fault. So from there, um, the scientists were just trying to study and be like, hey, you should be careful. Don't go too close to these. We're trying to figure out where, where they're from. But of course, because it's such a strange phenomenon, a lot of people start um, making their way and visiting it as some kind of like a like a prayer kind of passage thing of, oh, hey, another lucky slime. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my God, I want to pet it. Adorable. Goodbye, lucky slime. Um, so yeah, so the people start going to this uh, the fault lines where the little holes are located. And then, you know, people are just hanging out there, they're taking photos of it, and people are like, whoa, this is really cool, right? However, there's this one person who starts to act and behave a little strangely, right? And people noticed this man, like, taking his clothes off and trying to climb inside one of the holes. And mind you, these holes were like human shaped. And people were like, hey, get down from there, it's dangerous. You know, you shouldn't be climbing into that. Uh, we don't know if it's safe. But he starts screaming like, this hole was made for me. This is my hole. And it turns out that it apparently was like his hole because his body fit perfectly inside the humanoid shaped hole inside the mountain. And then he just disappears. Um, the people are shouting to try to get him to come back, but he won't listen. And then he, eventually he just slips inside the hole and then is never heard from ever again. And unfortunately, he wasn't the only one. A lot of other people who were there started, you know, reporting similar things. You know, they would go visit with their friends and their friends would be like, oh, that's that's my hole. That was made for me. I have to go inside there. And then, you know, lots of people started losing um you know, friends and loved ones to uh, to the hole. And then I'm not really sure what happens in the interim. I believe that they try to like seal it off to prevent people from getting trapped in there. But then um, 
like many many years passed by Ooh, moon to nectar many many years passed by and unfortunately due to uh just you know regular geologic processes the humanoid shapes stop becoming humanoid shapes because you know additional earthquakes happen and the mountain shifts periodically here and there and they become these like weird long stretched out kind of humanoid shape ish but not quite humanoid um like shapes and then i believe the manga ends with these uh, crew of mountaineers who came across the fault lines and they're like, hey, these were supposed to be the humanoid shapes, but they don't look humanoid anymore. What's going on, right? And then one of the uh, cavers, he shines a light into one of the holes and he notices something crawling, some kind of weird like creature that's slowly making its way out from the hole and the realization sets in that these were the people who had initially climbed into those holes and then as they climbed through those holes they got like trapped and stuck and then because the mountain starts shifting their body starts getting contorted stretched out and elongated into like grotesque figures and shapes yeah spoil the whole story i think at this point like everyone should have seen it it's been out for 13 years? 14 years? Many, many years. Yeah, they could not go backwards. They couldn't, like, shuffle their way backwards. They could only go forwards. Um, and then, I believe it the, it ends with, like, a dream that one of the main characters has. Um, where the main character themselves didn't enter the hole. But he had a dream, a nightmare, where he did. And then he slowly describes in painstaking detail what happens to people who climb inside a hole. And it's like really spooky. Yeah. Honestly, it's still worth reading if you don't mind the body horror, very chilling. Yeah, it is. The art, the style that Junji Ito draws, the way that he draws the details and the textures, absolutely worth it. I hate all the it's a dream stories. Oh no, it wasn't a dream. He just had a nightmare. He had a nightmare where he dreamt of himself in the position of someone he saw climbing into the hole because it was so traumatic. So it wasn't like a, oh, that was a whole dream. It was like him um, imagining because he's uh, because he was one of the protagonists was one of the uh, people there who saw this man climbing into the hole. And that traumatic experience gave him that nightmare. I want to see it flash. Whoosh. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh, poor thing. What is the point of the story? It is, I don't know if it has a point or not. I think it's just there to be a little bit eerie, a little bit creepy to make you think, you know, what would, what would happen if I were in that situation? Would I be able to resist this all-consuming call by a, a mystical force? That says, you know, this is where you belong. And once you enter, you can't escape. You know, kind of like, um, kind of like, uh, what was it? Um, wait, why am I blinking out on this? Why am I blinking out? Uh, Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone. There we go. Kind of like Twilight Zone. Just to like make you think, you know, like, hey, you know, what would happen if if things got this bad, you know, or like if this is how things turned out, you know, gosh, if wait, hold up chat. Are there, are there places you can watch the Twilight Zone like legally? Are there? I wonder. Because we should do a watch along if there is. Oh no. Okay, wait. I'm sorry, Ringtails. We're gonna leave you here. We should go do some watch alongs of Twilight Zone. I wanna watch like the original black and white Twilight Zones. I know that there's like the new Black Mirror things, and I like those too. Those are pretty cool. But at the same time, there's something about the old school Twilight Zone questions. Like the little weird mysteries that they posit for you that I think hit differently. It's on Amazon Prime for free? 
Netflix used to have it. Ah. Uh, like that's a Paramount Plus? Oh my gosh. What is it with all these? Uh, there's so many streaming services that I can't I can't keep track of them anymore. Wow. Oh, that spire is really cool. The last man on earth who breaks his glasses. Oh yeah, that one. That one was, oh gosh. Oh, hunter. Okay, we need a hunter plot for that one. There's a, there's a couple of um, episodes of The Twilight Zone that still linger with me. Oh, hey, it's a hunter rock. So, oh, it's a regular hunter. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, I would pick you up, but we already have a bunch of you. Oh, look at the eyes. It's so cute. To be as a 2002 remake, Twilight Zone's so good. It is. There's a lot of questions that Twilight Zone asks, and it's like, I don't know, it, it makes you really think. Wait, oh, yeah, sorry. My nose is a little stuffy because, uh, the air outside is it's getting warp again chat subscribing to all the streaming services basically paying for cables is counterproductive yeah it's a struggle chat it's a struggle I wonder to see if I can get one of them to oh wait hold up is that is that radiant ore <gasps> it was I was like that purple kind of sounds funny oh no get away away away. Oh, poor thing. Look how scared it is. Oh, little guy. Oh, look, it's not angry anymore. It's happy. Oh, we saved it. So it's not angry. It's not being aggro right now. Oh, oh I love its face. Look at the smile. Cute. Okay. You are a phosphor hunter, but the phosphor part of you should eat fruit. So if I can find some fruit real quick, I could get the- oh, there it is, perfect. The phosphor part of the phosphor hunter. Oh, here you go. Have some food. Oh, no, not hungry. I guess he's not hungry. <laughs> oh, no, I need the, I need the, the hunter ploy. <laughs> oh, the little boop is cute. Please, though, I need you to eat so they can get your plorts. <laughs> Late since my net is dying, but old Twilight Zone is amazing. I'd be up for a watch long Sunday. Yeah, I really want to. Oh, I think it really likes me now because it's just booping me constantly. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Okay, maybe, maybe there's another plort somewhere. Cause I want to open this thing. I've never seen the old Twilight Zone. Oh, I would so recommend it. If you have the chance, please do. It definitely hits differently. Okay, come on, please, please. I just need you to eat one fruit. One fruit. Pretty please. <laughs> I've never seen Twilight Zone. It's kind of spooky at times. It's a, it's, I wouldn't say it's a horror show, but it's definitely a little bit of a, <gasps> no. Ah, uh, it turned into a tar. Darn it. Okay, we'll have to go back and find another one then. Yeah, it's definitely unsettling. It like it posits questions to you that are a little bit. Oh, what happened here? Wait, where am I? Oh, interesting. It's definitely unsettling, is the best way I would describe it. Um, like the quest, the like one of the the things that chat was talking about earlier like the man who wanted to read and 
like, I, I was it? I think he worked as a banker, I believe. Ask questions that are a little unorthodox. Yeah, he was a banker that worked at a bank, and then he locks himself inside the vault because he wants to read. And unbeknownst to him, at that exact moment, um, like a nuclear war takes off. And then because he's trapped inside the vault, he actually survives. And it comes out and everything is gone. And then he's like, oh, you know, I have all the time in the world not to read my books. But then, like, as he is about to read his first book, uh, I believe he, like, accidentally trips or, like, steps on something. And then he breaks his glasses in the process. So the man with all the time in the world with no distractions left to annoy him or bother him left with hundreds and hundreds of books that he can't read because the one item that he needs to read them with ends up breaking, you know? Yeah, that kind of stuff. So it just kind of, um, it's like a whole bunch of series of kind of eerie or a little unnerving or a little bit of a kind of um, like concerning, I guess. Strange kind of situations and all that. And of course, um, being like a TV show of its time, it there's also a good chunk of it which ends up being social commentary, you know, of uh, of the time that it was made in. So there's always that. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh my god, they are adorable. Uh, give me just a chat. Wait. Oui. My nose feels weirdly stuffy. Even for an introvert who appreciates no alone time, it's unnerving. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Shadow, thank you for the gift of membership. Can we get some hearts and Jeff for the gift of membership? Thank you, thank you. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh jeez. Uh oh. Okay. I. <laughs> you know when you sniff and you like smell something funny and you're like, oh, that's the start of a sinus infection. I think I smell it. There's like a weird smell when I inhale and it's like, mm, that smells like the sinus infection smell that I had a long time ago. Uh oh. Yeah, there's a there's a slight like bacteria smell build up. I think it's I think it's like the early stages of a sinus infection. Oh oh. Oh yeah, there's a smell weird. Oh jeez. I thought it was just out like smoke or something from the outdoors, but I it, it's too like it, it's a too specific of a smell to be outdoor smelly. Close the window. No, I can't. It's too hot in my room. Oh, puddle slides. Adorable. Oh, smells like smoke. No, it smells like it smells like a really gross booger. I guess would be the best way to explain it. It's kind of like warm and wet. It's kind of gross, but yeah. <laughs> Take your shirt off, but you already probably have it off. Okay. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Face massage helps with the sinuses. I might have to get another one. Get like a proper face massage. Oh, you're so cute. I love your colors. Oh my god, I love these colors, like the pink and the yellow and the purple. Oh my god. Adorable. Okay, let's scoop some of this. I want to see if I can find one more Yoki slime before we head back. Because we do have our teleporter that we still haven't built yet. So we can still uh, have a fast way back home and here. Got those saline sprays? No, I actually don't really like those saline sprays, unfortunately. Ooh, radiant door, let's go. Ooh, it's a big drop. 
Oh, that's a weird smell. Yeah, that's a that's a gross smell. Oh gosh. Hmm. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. I will keep everyone updated if I Yeah, if I if I can notice that getting worse, um I'll keep everyone updated. I may have to like either stream less or postpone one or two streams if it does get bad. The flutter slimes combined with the other slimes too. I had the flutter flutter slimes combined with the cotton slimes back home. So they have both the ears, the bunny ears, and the little butterfly wings. It's really cute. Uh oh. I don't think there's a way out here. Only not. We should stay safe and stay on the trail. Don't risk falling down again. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's really cute. What would happen if you combine the bat slimes with the flutter slimes? Oh, good question. I actually don't know. Hmm. Let's try that out. Let's try it out. Okay, let's see. Do they have a flutter slime plort? Hmm. I think flutter slimes only eat the moon dew, so it's a little bit difficult. So we have to wait for them to turn. Ah, there we go. There he is. Flutter plort. All right, let's take a flutter plort back home and then feed it to one of the bat slimes and see how that turns out. Or maybe we can see one. Oh, oh look at that. There's so many of them. A very big cute, squishy, yet also sticky because of the honey part. Oh, Aww, my heart. They're so cute. <laughs> oh, they're so angry. Chill out. Chill, 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 chill. There you go. Hmm. Oh, there's a platform down here. Does it go anywhere? Where does it lead? It leads underneath this area. Ah, we got this one already. A long time ago. Yeah. Did you want to put a teleporter down? I do, but I'm not sure where. We have one here. Oh, we're already back home. Pretty close already. Wait a minute. Hold up. Nine out of 18. Oh, chance of lightning strikes has been increased, I'm guessing. Because it's like, the weather here says snowy, so I'm guessing this means weather is lightning strike and thunderstormy. Ooh. Let's look for the nine additional ones over here. I'm really curious to know. Hmm. Where would we find those? We should actually go back home and drop all these off first, because I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to risk losing them again. Because this is quite a lot of buzz. Oh! Look at that. Oh! What is that? Ooh! Wait, is that. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. For like half a second, I saw that and I was like, ooh, pretty. I want to touch it. So, like. <laughs> It was only after my brain registered. Oh, there was a lightning strike in the distance. I was like, wait a minute. I wonder if that could be. <laughs> this is why I would get in so much. Like, look how pretty it is, though. Okay, I'm going to stay back, but look how pretty that is. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. A lightning moat? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What? Resources? Lightning moat? Lightning moats are left behind after an especially dazzling lightning strike. Though crackling with residual energy, they are in fact safe for collecting and handling on the ranch. Deposit a lightning moat into the land's refinery where it can be used for crafting vac upgrades or science slime gadgets. Whoa, no way. 
Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. Wait, now I want to go chasing those lightning. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wait, there's more. Ooh. Wait, is that a phosphorus slime? I thought we I thought we already popped that phosphorus slime in the distance over there. Oh, no way. And sorry, chat, there's like noise backing because uh my neighbors are like doing things, so. Oops. Whoa! Watch out. Oh, that is so cool. Yo. I wasn't crazy then. No, thankfully, no. It's it's uh, just my neighbors doing things in the background. I have the window open because it's getting really hot. Wait, let's go look for more uh, light emotes. I don't see anything glowing. There was a few lightning strikes back over by the conservatory, so why don't we head over there that way, and then see if there's any... Oh. I love lightning storms, oh my god. This past week there was like a huge storm. I believe it was described as an atmospheric river because of just how much water there was. And it was like the coolest thing ever what are, what are they doing <laughs> there's so much noise going on out there not sure what they're doing and we have a new phone call I'm under who's calling Cole thanks for stopping by hope you have a wonderful night who is calling <gasps> Bob hello human person Yolki, Yolki plus chickens. Chicky, 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 chicky. Yolki, Doki. Oh, cute. Adorable. Oh, my heart. Oh. This is not Victor, but a hologram of Victor that Victor has developed to receive messages for Victor, which is not me. Please state your message, and I'll ensure the message is not given to me, but instead to Victor. Aww. Wait. I wonder... Okay, so... We put the yolk in here. But then we also have to clear out some of the hen heads, because if there's too many hen hens, then they won't make uh, chicks. So that should be a good amount, right? What are they watching? <laughs> Cute. Okay, we'll leave them here, and then come back and check it out. Why Bob look like a stack of slime? What are you talking about? Bob looks like a regular person. Bob is definitely not... Bob is definitely not three slimes in a trench coat. Definitely <sighs> Give me just a minute, chat. I want to go... I want to go close the window. I have no idea what's happening outside. <laughs> Give me just a minute. Chat, get me out of here, please. Get me out of here. All right, let's take the call. <gasps> oh my gosh, lots of phone calls. Hey B, didn't you say something a while back about wanting more stuff? Hmm, wait, I think that was me. Well, whatever, enjoy more stuff. Ah, <gasps> short pink coral columns, cute. Babe, if there's one thing I know about the kind of solitary explorer life you're living, it's that you can't have enough reminders that your friends are thinking of you. Aww, cute. Andrea, thank you for joining the collective. Welcome, welcome. Oh, quite he. So, here's a reminder in the form of a gift. Let it remind you of me and all of our good times together. Ciao, babe. Emerald shrubs. Ooh. Hey B, I know it's silly, but I worry about the hard work you do out there all on your own. So I sent a little care package. 
Hope it gives you a little extra get up and go. Ambergrass. Oh, ooh. And what did Bob give us? Hello, fellow human. Has gifts for you. Yay. Chickens. <laughs> I like how they keep giving you gifts in case you can't find all of the the new like uh like objects and doodads. Give me give me the giant eggs. I want to see what the giant eggs look like. I also want to make money and sell some plorts. Oh, this is so cool. I love how it glows. Oh my god. Alright, let us go deposit all of these inside the fabricator. Do, 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 do. Wait, so it looks like the for this upgrade, the, the big thing that we have to do to unlock most of the new content is to find all of those little things because we haven't unlocked most of these gadgets here. So I think that's all we gotta do. Just keep searching and exploring around to look for all these. Let's go do that. Very sweet of them. Yeah. Oh man, I close the door and I can already feel my room heating up again. Man. Should I have to get out of here? Get me out, please. Okay. Oof. Yeah, just a bit of a oof. Alright. Let us go. We're heading back out, and we're going to sweep the area and try to see if we can figure out exactly where all of those little treasure chests are. Someone escaped. Nah, it's fine. They're not escaping the conservatory. They escaped the pen, but they can't escape the conservatory. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Phosphor slimes eat fruit. Right? Hmm. Yeah, see? They escape, but they won't leave too far. They'll kind of hang around and dance around this pen. I think phosphor slimes eat fruit, so let's go pick up some fruit here real quick. And I think there's a bit more fruit on this side? Question mark? Because there's that one phosphor slime, Gordo, that I believe has respawned since the last time we uh, popped it. So I'll make sure we can go pop that one again too. Scoop some of this fruit here. Oh, I want to get like a yolk slime for every single one of these. Ooh. Oh no. It's all full, but they don't have enough food. Okay, we're gonna scoop up all of these and just dump them. Oh wait, no, not the chicks. Has the yolk slime produced anything? Not to my, oh, they're so cute. Not to my knowledge yet, um, but we'll, we'll get to there soon. Hopefully by the time we finish feeding all of these, uh, something will have developed, but we'll see, we'll see. Look at all of that. Thunder cluck. Let's scoop up some more. Let's go ahead and feed all of these. Okay, so a few in there. And then the rest will toss in here so that it can automatically feed over a steady interval. <laughs> nice. Oh, they're so cute. All right. We need to get some more fruit, because I don't think pomegranates are the phosphor slime's favorite. So we're going to have to get 50, I believe. Is it 50 fruit items? I think we have a few more pomegranates um, inside the cave where all the hunters and uh, ringtail slimes are. Let's go check it out. I love sto- Oh, what are you doing here? Get back inside. <laughs> oh. <gasps> yes, there's tons here. There we go. Okay. Hmm. 
No, the 50 should be exactly fine. All right, let's go. I want to go pop that phosphor. The cave is free range. It really is, because I like it since the cave itself acts as one giant pen. That way you don't have to spend money on upgrades to get those, uh, the regular pen or the corrals. But at the same time, it gets a little bit messy. It's a little hard to manage things since it gets uh, a little bit too crazy and hectic in there. All right, and here is... Oh wait, no, not this way. On the other side, there should be a phosphor slime. Where was the phosphor slime? I believe it was underneath the observatory, but where? This way? Through here, perhaps, maybe? No, I think this one just leads back into the caves area. Uh, no, it's a laboratory. Huh. Where did the phosphor slime go? I think it must have gotten lost. <gasps> oh. 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 There's plenty of trees, but they crowd around one. Around one. My headcanon is that they crowd around one because they just want to eat with their friends. They're like, yeah, I could go and eat that on my own, but all my friends are here. So they gather around one type of tree. Are you sure you saw one? I was pretty sure. Maybe it's over here on this side. <gasps> there you are! Oh! <laughs> there you are! Oh, you're so chunky. Oh, you're so big. Oh, you're so big and chunky. Oh. oh. The little hop it does. Look at that. When you point your gun at it, it's like it expects to be fed, so it just goes, ah. Ah. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Let's feed you some fruit. I wonder how many it takes. Is it 50? I thought it was 50. Oh, looks like it's about 30 actually. Oh, cute. Okay, let's scoop all the phosphor slimes. 12. Okay. Is there anything inside here maybe? I believe we have to, um, I know like my current Oh, that is a hunter, right? No, that's not a hunter. That's a tabby. That's a tabby. Okay. Um, I the uh, the reason why is right now my base is optimized for making money. Um, so I have like very dedicated pots or corrals for the uh the different types of slimes I have right now, but. I don't have them enough to farm for, uh, say, things like just regular pink uh, pink plorts or just the standard types of plorts. And because, wait, did you grow? <gasps> Ooh, look at that egg. Oh, it's shiny and it's glowing. Oh. Oh, so that's what the yolk plorts look like. Oh. Hey. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, yeah, if I saw that, I would a hundred percent want to eat it. Absolutely, there's no question. I want to devour that thing right now. 74 coins. Not really worth it selling it though. So let's hold on to it because I think we might use it for crafting. Eat them gamers. Lots of vitamin D. According to the, uh, according to the papers. Okay, let's put all these away. Okay, put those in there, and then the yolk ports too. I wonder. I kind of wish, I wish there was a way to sort recipes for things like, um, let me look for every recipe that requires a pink plort. Or like, I want to find all the recipes that require primordial oil. I kind of want to know like if there's a way to sort like that, because I think it would be really nice. 
just to kind of be like, I have a ton of extra pink plorts. You know, I have right now 128 ringtail plorts and I want to use them up somehow. So show me all the recipes that eat up ringtail plorts. Like I want to kind of get to that point too. That'd be really nice. I wonder. Yeah, see? <laughs> Pink plorts are the most common plorts because pink slimes are also the most common slimes, but we don't even have... We, we've never actually farmed for those, so we don't even have five pink plorts. <laughs> so I think we have to readjust our ranch to start collecting even the basic plorts from things that we haven't uh, done our proper farming yet. Ah, oh, these are cool though. Ah, oh, this is so cool. The snow? Snow's bench. Bundle up and have a hot cocoa while relaxing on the cozy snow dappled bench. Oh. Oh, so that one requires Yoki plorts. Oh, okay, okay. All right. We're going to head back out. Wait. Oh, I do have some ring tails in here. Oh. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, and it's a hunter. I can't feed them because because if I do, then they'll start eating each other's plorts and then they'll become angry. Imagine Yoki plorts to be like boiled egg jiggly. Kind of, but they have like the... The sounds that the plorts make reminds me of um, dice. It, it sounds like dice to me. Okay. Hmm, I wonder, is it possible to free range the chickens and the yolk plorts? Or I wonder if they, I wonder if this is more optimal to just have them here in a coop. I wonder. Okay, let me go fill this up. Oh, that one got free. <laughs> Oh, I love the faces when they blow up and stun themselves. Like right there, right there. That's such a cute face. Oh, I want to give them lots of head pats. They sound a little bit hard, right? I imagine, okay, so in my head, in my head canon, I imagine plorts to feel and have the similar consistency as dominoes. Do you know those, um, the, what was it called again? Urea, I believe. It's called the, the name of the material that they used to make dominoes with. It's kind of almost like port like porcelain, but not quite porcelain like. But like that's in, in my head is that that's what I imagine them to uh, feel like. Kind of like a almost like a rock, but very smooth, rounded edges, very cool to the touch because they uh, they they let go of heat very easily, you know. I love that sound, right? That sound, oh, it's so nice. There's something about that sound which is so satisfying. Here, let's use this corner. Yeah, oh, that's such a nice sound. Like Mahjong tiles? Oh, yeah, I, I believe Mahjong tiles uh, are also made from the similar material. Um, the, like the, the milky white kind of rock thing. I believe it's called Urea. But I, I, I think it's spelled U-R-E-A. It's commonly mistaken for like the, like, uh, just urine, but it's not. It's, it's a different thing altogether <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about right oh those are so nice so that's why Mahjong tiles look so tasty right ah uh, I think we have to I think we're gonna have to clear out the the cave area a bit mm. darn darn Ooh. Okay, we'll clear out 
we'll clear out the cave area because there's a lot of there's a lot of plots for building a like a nice little ranch area, but we can't free range it. No, you're is also insure in human urine. I think Domino's and Mahjong is tile something else. No, it it's oh, I forget what it is. I might be mis misremembering. Maybe it's spelled differently. I don't know. I'll have to go double check. I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay. I... Chat, I'm going to need everyone to look away. Because we're going to turn every single ringtail hunter in here into a tar. And then we're going to clear it out. Carbamide or urea stone. Oh! Okay, okay. I see, I see. We will, we will be able to rebuild here, but... Ooh, where did that come from? We will be able to rebuild, but we have to optimize the ranch. We have to optimize the farm, chat. I'm so sorry. F's in chat. Here we go. Close your eyes. Oh no. Oh no, they look so scared. Ah. Uh. <laughs> no. Oh, I can't look. I cannot watch. I'm gonna step away. Okay, but I, I, I kinda do wanna watch. But at the same time. Oh, they look so scared. Oh no. Ah. Uh. I wish there was an easier way to take care of this and like handle these kind of situations. Hip it for recording this for my cancel shit read my montage read my clickbait. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man. Oh, they're going after me instead of the slimes. Oh no. It'll be over soon. It'll be over soon, little slimes. Well, I guess not little, they're Largo, so... We. No. At least, at least their deaths are colorful. It's so quiet now. Oh no. Gotcha. Any more? Oh, it's Angie. Oh no. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Here. Okay. Just, just relax. Just chill out. Okay, it's done. It's finally done. It's so quiet, Chad. Oh no. I feel so terrible. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and clean up this area so that we can prepare. Man. Okay, Chad, though. It, it's... It's not as terrible as it seems. Um, according to Slime Rancher lore, um, whenever the slimes, they like turn into tars and they die, they actually just return back to... Um, what was it called again? Uh, I forget, but like the ocean of slimes where like all the spirits of the slimes go into. Um, so they don't actually die, they just return to where these are and then they respawn into regular slimes once more. So they are not, they are not gone forever. They become one with the slime ocean. Yeah, slimes reincarnate, they do. Oh, I'm realizing now that we're actually really low on money compared to how much those things cost. Because it takes about 10,000 or so to build like 10 objects. 
The primordial ooze, yeah. They return to the primordial ooze. Okay, put that away. Let's go ahead and clean up this little area. Excuses, excuses. No, they do. Hang on, I'll show you. Uh, world. Slime Sea. Here we go. The Slime Sea covers the... <clears throat> the Slime Sea that covers most of the far, far range is something of a mystery. It is seemingly a mixture of water and slime that is believed to be the primordial pool whence all slimes emerge, though its true purpose is entirely unknown by even most esteemed slime scientists. What is known is that the liquid found within the slime sea is not fit for drinking, watering crops, or even swimming, as most things seem to quickly sink to the bottom. When a slime enters the sea, it quickly vanishes, but it is widely believed that this far from ends the slime's existence, for slimes that enter the sea can often be seen quickly reappearing back on land, happy as ever. In fact, many slimes believe that slimes use the sea as a means of transportation, moving swiftly below the surface and popping out on land whenever they see fit. But all theories aside, one fact remains clear. Most, especially to ranchers, don't enter the slime sea. Yeah. So they all respawn. They come right back. So it's not it's not that terrible of a of an ending. <laughs> they become cult hair. There's just this one giant slime where they all kind of float around, and whenever they want, they just pop back out. Yeah. Farewell. Back into the slime sea. Yeah. Imagine a cult hair the size of the mountain. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Like if all the cult hairs join together in one really big chunk. Ooh. Like one of those kink slimes. Oh, why is my nose so stuffy today? Okay. Let's see. How many plots are there? Five. So one plot. Two. Three, four, and five. Hmm. Hmm. What should we replace these with? I'm thinking we should start having. Blow your nose hurt? No, not really. It just feels really stuffy and my sinuses kind of feel a little itchy. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out what should we plant here. Uh, it is dark, so we... Uh, I guess we could use it for phosphor slimes. What do phosphor slimes like most? Uh, phosphor... Phosphors, diets, fruit, but their favorite is Q-berries. Q-berries, do I have any Q-berries? No, I do not. Okay, okay. Hmm, in that case, I think we could turn this into a Phosphor Slime home, but we gotta make sure we clear out any of the remaining ports, like these, because the Phosphor Slimes might get curious and eat those and get combined into Largos. And then that gets a little bit chaotic to try to control, unfortunately. Ooh. When in doubt, clear your sinuses with super spicy food. I actually wanted to try clear my uh, sinuses out with wasabi. I would not recommend it. Um, absolutely not. Do not recommend it at all. <laughs> it works temporarily is what I'll say. Like, it absolutely works for a little bit, um, but it's a very short-term solution. I, I would not encourage using wasabi. <laughs> yeah, so the way I did it was I just took a spoonful of wasabi and then I just ate it and then I would exhale through my nose. Um, it was bad. It was really bad. I, I still would not recommend it at all. 
my older brother's friend in middle school snorted wasabi, he became a legend. Oh god. Oh goodness. That... That sounds insane. I could not imagine that. Snorting wasabi directly? No. That's too much. <laughs> Alright. So, I think what we could do is, since we have a good amount of money and we're able to go ahead and um, harvest a lot of stuff, what I think we should focus on is focusing on the farming aspect of the plorts. So, while we're going out and collecting plorts, or uh, sorry, while we're going out and collecting those uh, recipes for the gadgets, we should also be looking to farm all of our basic plorts. So, pink plorts, uh, cotton plorts, um, all that kind of stuff that we don't have a full chunk of. <laughs> I thought it was matcha ice cream, but it was a spoonful of wasabi. Oh, oof. Oh, that's a big oof. Oh, no. I wish... Is there a way to tell? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um... Oh, no. <laughs> Bold, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Please take care. Get lots of sleep. Oh, jeez. Okay, wait, chat. Why is it not sorted? Oh, no. It's not really sorted in any way. Is it? Wait, is it alphabetical? It's just sorted alphabetically. A, B, B, C, C, D, E, F. F. Oh, it is alphabetical. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, that's understandable. Why? And then it goes into the objects, the materials here. D, L, P, P, S, B? Why? Wait, if this is alphabetical, why is deep brine here, but buzz wax all over here? Unless it's using the W for wax, because wild honey is here. And then jelly stone, but then H, H, I, J, this makes sense. But then why is buzz wax here? Huh? Okay, so the plorts are alphabetical, but then these are not. They're just kind of all over the place. <laughs> Maybe? No, see, it's a deep brine, and then lava dust. So is it D? Is it B for brine? D for dust? S for snowflake? But then it goes to P, O. And then over here is buzzwax. So I'm not sure. Wouldn't buzzwax be in B if it starts with B? That's what I, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, so the plorts are alphabetical. A, B, C, D, E, F. Like, these are alphabetical. But the these objects are not. Huh. Okay, I mean... I guess we'll go with that. Alright. We only have three pink plorts and only 28 cotton plorts. Only 10 phosphor plorts. Ooh. Let's get industrial. How would you sort it? I would sort it as a graph. So what I would do is I would have a graph of plorts. So like all the plorts here um, would just be like on the x-axis. And then the amount would be on the y-axis. So I could take a quick look and be like, okay, look, I have, you know, 160 inglet plorts. And then like 150 batty plorts and stuff. So that's how I would sort it. All right, let's go change, let's go. Phosphor pink slimes. Let's do that. Let's do phosphor pink slimes. Gotta go get some cuberries. More visually, yeah. Cause I want something to be able to take a quick peek at something and be like, okay, I know exactly what it is. Let's go phosphor pink, phosphor pink. Because we need both of those. And then... What should I combine with cottons? What should I mix with cottons? Tabby cotton, maybe? Because they kind of seem to... 
come next. Ooh, more pinks. More phosphors. More pinks. Okay, let's look out for Q-berries. Oh, so cute. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Honeys. Oh, we can get honey bunnies. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get honey bunnies. Okay. I don't want... Oh. Yeah, majority of them will turn out like this. Okay, let's go scoop up some more phosphors here. A few more phosphors there. Uh-oh. Away. There we go. Q-berries, Q-berries. We gotta find some Q-berries. Think Q-berries? No, those are pogo fruits. Where do we find the... Oh, ooh, jellystone. I'm at a loss. I don't quite remember where Q-berries are. The only plant that I remember where Q-berries are growing on are, like, really far away. Ooh. More jellystone. Oops. There we go. Jellystone. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, my heart. They're so cute. Alright, let's keep going. Q berries, Q berries. Oh, the jelly stones have respawned. Let's go. We never really got to harvest these because I think the ones I collected here I accidentally died with, so. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. They can't actually eat the Q-berries, but they will hold on to them with their mouths and, like, eat them. Oh, Okay. We got one Q-berry. I think just one is enough for now. Because we can grow more. But at the same time, I want to see if we can get at least two before we head back. That way we just have two Q-berry trees growing real fast. They like to run out with carrots in their mouths. Yeah! It is the cutest thing ever. Okay. Ooh. Our pockets are full, though, so we can't pick that up yet. Q-berries, Q-berries. Any more Q-berries? No. No more Q-berries. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, carrots and pogo fruits. <laughs> you can't eat fruit. What are you doing with that? Oh, oh my God, my heart. Oh, they're so cute. Hey, right, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Good luck with work. Good luck with work. Oh, that's right. We gotta find more of these because we haven't found um, we haven't found all of those yet. Hmm. I don't think there's another Qberry plant nearby. I think there is one real close to the entrance of this section of the map. So let's head over that way. Yeah, I believe it's over here. There should be a couple of Q-berries on this side. If I'm not mistaken, maybe it's on the other side. I almost never pay attention to the uh, plants, except for... What was it? In Slime Rancher 1, I believe there's like a phase... Phase Lemon? But that was like a, a Slime Rancher 1 thing. I don't think phase slimes have been reintroduced into Slime Rancher 2 yet. But they're the ones that kind of... Um, phase through walls and stuff if you're not uh if you're not too careful they will like slowly uh they're like molecules will pass through objects and stuff yeah is this a cuberry tree i don't know they, they they've already eaten everything so i can't tell which plant this was <laughs> Quantum slimes. There we go. That's the name, not phase slimes. Yeah, quantum slimes. 
I think uh, the cool thing about quantum slimes is like they have the super imposition thing um, where they appear in two places at once, but one of them is a fake image and not a real one. So you have to figure out which is the real one to capture it or capture it. It's been a while since I've played it. Quantum slimes are my favorite. They look so cool. All right, let's go through here. Ooh, that's right, there's a crystal gordo here. Diet is veggie, but we don't have any veggies. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Tricking you to think they broke out their pens, right? <laughs> All right, let's head in here. Maybe there's a few places in here that we haven't gotten to yet. Maybe there's some cube berries in this side. The quantum slime largos were a pain for me to look after because I thought because I thought I had a lot of them. <laughs> right? You think you have a bunch, but it's actually just them and they're like quantum images. So you see, you're like, oh, there's like a ton, but then you actually only have like two, and they're just making copies over and over again. Oh. <laughs> Cure. Okay. Let's take a quick look and see. Maybe we can find hmm, either some really cool fruits, some vegetables. <gasps> Wait, hold up. Can I? Okay, I can build the teleporter here, but the thing the more bigger question is, is there a recipe for these um I don't know what they're really called. Like these Aurora Borealis trees, like the ones that, the like not real trees, but the ghostly ones. Or these even, like these glow in the dark wings ones. There's gotta be, there has to be. I wonder if we can find them here. More pogo fruits. Hmm. How far are we? Why don't we go around like here-ish in the middle and then set up a teleporter here because we can use this to oh chat look see this is the kind of stuff i like it glows Ooh. Oh, this one's so big i love the colors oh my god it's so cool all right Let's go ahead and I guess we can put the teleporter like around here. Uh, we'll have this one building. It'll take about two minutes to grow, so we'll come back later. Haha, <laughs> what a loser. He likes shiny stuff, could never be me. <laughs> Says the bird brain. <laughs> hey, Haka. Good to see you. <gasps> More Q berries. Ooh. Look at that. Yeah, Q berries. More Q berries. I love you. <gasps> Look, it's another lucky slime. Oh, we've seen three today. Oh, they're so cute. Look at that. And then. <laughs> Hope you had a good one, Haka. Oh wait, I don't have enough space. I can't pick this up. I, I gotta, I gotta resist picking up the the slime fossil. Oh my god! But look, I love these like cubes with the light inside it. They do the iPhone thing where they slowly breathe. The light, see, it glows, gets brighter, then slowly dims. Wait. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my god. Hmm. I think we've read all of these uh, logs. We haven't really figured out exactly who's writing them, other than the fact that Mochi's tech, it's it's very eerily similar to Mochi's tech. Oh, no, I think... I think it, it is confirmed that it's Mochi's tech, because they were written... Um, they're like future logs like ideas for records 
that Mochi had it. But for her, at this time period, it was only theoretical. And these logs that we see here are... It looks like someone took her notes and made them a reality, which is why she was so confused, because, like, yeah, I, I did make these, but I haven't made them yet. I will make them in the future. How did someone manage to make this happen? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, what is that up there? Oh, I think I already opened this one. Someone took the blueprints? No, it wasn't a blueprint because um, all of the logs that Mochi had made were theoretical. She assumed that it was possible to make drones that worked the way they did, but she hadn't actually put, put them together yet. Um, so for her, she was like, yeah, this is, this is what I wanted to make, but how? Because we don't have the technology to make it yet. Wait, I think that one's open. Wait, it is open. Darn it. No. How do I get back out? Oh no. Ooh. Careful. Don't touch the water. Don't touch the slime. This way? Maybe? Oh. Oh, the saber slimes are so cute. The little teeth they have, it's so cute. And look at these. I love how they glow. Oh my god. Could be a battle spoon situation. Possibly. I love the yeah the little things of the cyber the the saber slimes are so cute. They're so adorable. Hmm. Aww. I want to look for more of those. Uh, wait, how many are there here? F we found fourteen out of twenty-three, which means that there's about nine more. There's nine more of those chests. Where do we find those? Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Chat, do you see that? At the top? It says pink teleporter, food type none. What? Why Why is it that I, if I look over here, it says pink teleporter? Interesting. Maybe, maybe it's a, oh, maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's supposed to be a pop-up that says your teleporter has finished construction. Maybe? Where? At the top. If you see the top center of the screen. Oh, Jen Jen Jelly Bean. Thank you. Thank you so much for the magenta super. Thank you. Thank you. Teleporter not hungry. No, the teleporter eats none. Interesting. Perhaps it's just a bug. Yeah, maybe the... Maybe there's just a few couple of bugs here and there that have been completely ironed out yet. <laughs> But that's okay. It's been longer than two minutes. Yeah, we should go double check on it. It has probably finished. Oh, there's another slime fossil right there. But no, I must resist picking it up. Oh, it's so happy. <laughs> Look at it. All right, let's keep going. Oh, wait, no, we cannot keep going. I have to go back home. We, the teleporter has finished. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. The teleport has finished construction, so we should go take it home real quick. And then drop off all of our stuff. Get our Q-Baby farm started in the caves. Oh, this is so convenient. Oh my god. Teleport is really nice. We had to go find a whole bunch more teleporters, Chad. All right. Let me go ahead and deposit the jelly stone first. Mm. <sighs> They're all a little buggy too. Yeah. It's okay though. We are having good fun. Uh, this way, this way. Okay. We're gonna free range just a whole bunch of phosphor and pink slimes. 
combine them together to make phosphor pink phosphor slimes and then spam a whole bunch of q berries can i wait myself to dinner my alarm is reminding me have a delicious dinner press f to activate okay let's clear out the crops here and then replace it with the q berry and then we should also get rid of some of these just so that they don't so that we can clear it up a little bit. Well, I guess we can just leave those there too. Keeps wandering slimes away from your crops. Wait, but we don't want wandering slimes uh, to be scared. We want the wandering slimes to come by and eat. All right, F. Clear the crops and then Q berries. Clear the crops. Q berries, and then one more time, clear the crops, and grow Q berries. All right. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because when it comes to slimes, if they eat food of their uh, like food types, like fruits, meats, or vegetables, they will go ahead and release some plorts. Generally, one plort. However. In Slime Rancher, if you feed them their favorite food, what ends up happening is they give you two plorts. And this mat this doesn't matter if it's just one or uh, if it's just a single plort, or sorry, a single slime like this or a Largo. So if we combine them into this, as long as any part of this slime eats their favorite food, it doubles the plorts. Yeah. So right now, if I feed you this one, like uh, this pomegranate, Oh, I guess they don't want to eat it right now. But if I feed a uh, Largo Pomegranate, they'll drop two. One pink and one phosphor. However, if I... Well, I don't have any right now, but I'll show you next time. Um, if I feed them a Q-berry, they'll drop two plorts of each. So two pinks and two plorts. Uh, two pinks and two phosphors. So it's a really good way to uh, farm a lot of plorts what you can do is combine one of these with a rare, uh, like a, a rare slime to maximize the input. So you don't have to go find, so for example, like the hunter port or hunter slimes. They're kind of hard to find. Um, so if you combine them, you can feed them the other slime's favorite food and still get two of the hunter plorts. But we'll show you when we get these uh, fully growing. Yeah. All right, I should go get some more slimes now. Let's go get some more slimes. I want this to I want this to like free range the entire place. <laughs> it's gonna be a ton of pink slimes and phosphor slimes. All right, let's go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, my nose is still kind of weird. We oh, yeah. free range slimes, yeah. We're gonna focus on pink slimes because it's daytime and phosphor slimes do not come out during the day. But that's a good thing because it means we can focus 100% on these pink slimes. Any more? Ooh, perfect. What timing? Flutter slime food can be tricky to collect so it's good to combine them. Yeah, I believe um, flutter slimes eat the honey dew, the moon dew. And moon dew is very, very difficult to find because you can't, uh, you can't cultivate it. So combining it with something that's easy to farm, like the, I don't know, like these cotton slimes here, the bunnies, because water, uh, water lettuce is pretty easy to grow. So yeah, it's all those little, little bits of uh, optimization that makes it really fun, and the fact that you can kind of set your. Uh, Set your ranch up in any way that you want it to. It's so addicting. Yeah, nectar is scarce. Still using the breathing strip things? I am, but the instructions warn you against prolonged use, so I try only using them uh, when I sleep. I don't want to keep them in my nose the entire day because apparently um, the instructions warn against that. I'm not sure what the danger would be, but I don't want to find out. So, playing it a little safe, if I can find uh, some, like, 
don't know, reviews or little uh, testimonials, I guess, from other people say that they use it multiple times and it was safe. I might do that too, but for now, I just want to play it uh, a little bit safer. Shy Miley, thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful night. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Okay, give me just a minute. I'm gonna see if I can open my window now. Hopefully the neighbors have quieted it down a bit. Cause my room is getting really hot again. feels nice. That first little gust of cool air. Oh my god. Ooh, that's refreshing. Much better. Much better now. Ooh, deep run. Were they leaf burning concrete? No, I don't know what they were doing. They were just moving big boxes around and talking very loudly. Oh. Cute. All right, I have 30 pink slimes and then one additional phosphorus slime. So this should be, ooh, ooh, boy. So this should be plenty, I hope. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so we got the caves working for phosphor pink slimes. And then we have some of the angler slimes and the saber slimes. We have some of these, but we haven't really figured out what to do with them yet. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should just focus entirely on one type of plort, get like, I don't know, 5,000 units of it first, and then switch out my farm to operate on other, uh, other things? Or if I should just try to do a little bit of everything? Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's get some phosphor plorts, combine them, force them to interact. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Start with one and go from there. That's what I'm thinking. If we just focus on a hunt like a hundred percent on one of them, maybe it'll make more sense to do it that way. Pomegranates. Oh, they're so cute. Astro, thanks for stopping by. Persephone, hello. Okay, you haven't combined yet, so let me feed you a phosphor plort. Oops, no, I'm sorry. No, maybe it's not hungry. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Free range. Free range slimes all over the place. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Zena, hello. Thank you for the five or thank you for the super chat. Hi Jim Rico, I haven't been able to catch a live in a long time, but I'm almost done with my second week of a good new job and missed y'all. Oh, congratulations, congrats. I hope the work is not too difficult. Thank you so much for the super. Hope you've been well. Okay. We have all the upgrades, it's just taking a little while. Grow faster, please. Hmm. I don't think that actually does anything. <laughs> Chat, do you see the do you see the top center of the screen? Uh oh. Where did you come from? We can't have you here because you might accidentally turn into TARS. Farewell, back into the... Oh. Back into the slime motion. Goodbye. Bloop. Mira, hello. Thank you for re-upping the membership. Okay, okay, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, that would have been bad if we had left one of those in here. Because the, the, the way that TARS form 
is if we have three types of slimes trying to combine, so a Largo tries to eat a plort that's not one of the two already mixed together, that's where we get the Tars forming. <gasps> the last hunter slime. No. <gasps> no. There's a whole bunch. Where are they coming from? Oh my goodness. Back into the sea. Back into the sea. Bloop, bloop. Where are they coming from? Are they, like, hiding around here? I don't, I don't see them. I don't know where they're from. Oh. It survived the purge. No, what are you going to say it like that? <laughs> Oh, do you know what would be? Do you know what would be such a cool item to have? A really cool item to have for this would be like a filter, or like a grate on top of your backpack gun. So, like, if you have free range situation like this, I can go around and just right click and then just kind of scoop up all the plorts by themselves without accidentally sucking in a largo like that. That would be a really nice item. That way you can like encourages you to uh, like free range slimes like this without having to get them stuck constantly. That would be so nice. See so yeah, how they kind of like get stuck while I try to clean up all these plorts here. That way it would avoid that problem. Monomi Park, if you're listening, please, please add in the add in the buff. <laughs> I don't know how many free range slimes five trees can support, but I guess we'll see. Useful when looking for specific items outside too. Yeah, exactly. All right, let us go deposit these into the fabricator. All that work, and we only have 34 pink plorts and 29 phosphor plorts. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, egg check. Oh, that's too many. That's way too many. <laughs> Let me go put away all of these uh, plorts that we have and then clear out some of the chickens because that's way too many chickens. Maybe? Hmm. I wonder if the play is to have a non-upgraded chicken coop in order to make the most of those yolk slimes? Because an upgraded, a fully upgraded chicken coop seems to produce way too many chickens way too quickly. So, I mean, look, look at this. <laughs> Okay, let's clear out a whole bunch. There we go. That should be enough, right? There we go. We'll put these away in here. Mira, hello! Should I craft a necklace as well watching stream? May I craft one in spare by you? Of course, of course. I hope it goes well. That is so cool. Crafting necklaces? Yo. That's super cool. Ooh. Okay. Slow because there's only three of those. Aww. Alright, where is the plorts? <gasps> 68. Okay, we gotta get rid of some of these. I think that... Hmm. Like, the part of my brain that kind of wants to optimize things is starting to kick in, and I'm wondering, like, what is the right balance between the amount of plorts that we sell for money? Like, saber plorts are only worth 26, so is it worth... I don't think so. I'll go deposit them in the fabricator instead of selling them. I, I think I'll only sell the plorts if they're worth 30 or more. And then if we ever get to the point where we have a ton, like for example, uh, we have like 234. So maybe we can cut back on the number of sacred plorts that we sell or store, and then turn one of the plots into a silo 
so that we can just hold on to them. And when the price goes up, new prices. Oh, don't tell me Sabres just jumped up in price. Ah. Okay. So <laughs> it went up by two, but it's still not at 30, so that's okay. It's okay. It's, the, it's not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> what is this bitcoins oh my god <laughs> yeah if it was 30 i would have been mad i'd be like ah oh, darn it like i should have just waited like a couple more seconds oh they're hungry they haven't eaten Oh, look how fast they're eating. They're oh, they must have been so hungry. Oh, poor little guys. Thank you for the fire plurts. Oh, look at the eyes. The eyes. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my god. I'm going to die from cuteness. The little beady eyes, yeah. Fire parts, 47. Wait. 47? Hmm. How many fire parts do we have already saved up? Let's take a look. Fire parts. We have 95, so I think it's okay to sell these. Hold gently like flaming burger. Yes. Oh, look at that money. All right, let's see. What's the most valuable one right now? Puddle plorts at $59. Yoke plorts, that's too un inconsistent, so I can't really focus on those. But tangle plorts are worth 56. Tangle plorts and puddle plorts. Ooh, I think we have a whole bunch of puddle plorts going. So let's go scoop those up real quick and sell those for money. Reminds you of peeps? They kind of do, right? Gold slimes, oh gosh. I wish, I wish. Unfortunately, we don't really have a good way to farm gold slimes, so gold slime ports are a very rare commodity. I wish there was a really nice way to farm them, but I don't think you can actually even scoop them up. You can feed them, I believe. In the original game, I believe you could feed them golden ginseng? Or gilded ginseng, I believe. And then um, that's where you would get the golden plorts. But the gilded ginseng item itself was also very rare to find. Yeah. Nikki, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Please get lots of sleep and good rest. They see into the depths of your soul. They might not speak, but their eyes, the voids of their eyes, say all. Completely unrelated chat. I want to make a game either by the end of next, like maybe by the end of next year. But like, I want to make a game and I have just the right idea for the game I wanted to make. Like, it it struck me earlier today. I was like, oh, I know exactly what story I want to tell. Yeah. It's, uh. Oh, I hope it's good. Because in my head, the idea is, is really good. But like, if you, like, if I told you, you would know exactly what it's inspired by. So I can't say it right now. Um, but oh, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Game of the year. No. Like, <laughs> it wouldn't. If anything, I believe it's probably a little bit too ambitious for my first game. But that's kind of why I also want to learn... Um, Unity, because I, it not only just to make worlds in VR chat that I could use for, you know, dragging the boys into it, um, but also just to have like a place where I can practice building worlds, because there is a world, I, a story that I want to build and tell. What genre will the game be? It'll be like Slime Rancher. I'm gonna be a, a, like full full disclosure. It will. It'll be like more like Slime Rancher than anything. Well, I guess not Slime Rancher, because it's not going to be like base building or like collecting or harvesting, but it'll be like relaxing. It'll be a relaxing game. Wink, wink. 
It's going to be a relaxing game, chat. Very relaxing. Nothing scary, nothing spooky, no um, weird, strange mysteries around. It's going to be a very relaxing, cozy game. Um, you know, the... <laughs> It'll be a type of game that if you saw, you'd be like, oh, I can totally see why should we should we do it this way. <gasps> Ooh, egg. Egg. Oh, Yolky plorts. Wait, chat, hold up. Dude. Oh, new message. Wait, hold up. Can can I combine? Can I combine Yolky Plorts? Can, can you? Wait, hold up. Wait, can you? Uh, wait, this doesn't tell me anything, right? Hold up, let me... Wait, can you? I... I don't know if you can. You, you can't combine fire plorts, and you cannot combine water puddle plorts. Um, like the the slimes will they'll eat it, but they'll do it. They won't do anything. Or I don't think they'll eat it at all. Actually, hang on. Let me let me let me go double check. Uh, bunny. Uh, can you eat this? No, you. No. No, you can't combine them with. Okay, the Yoki plorts are um, the same type as these fire plorts, and then the puddle plorts. You can, they don't combine. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That's fair. That's fair. All right, they're worth sixty, but because of how rare it is to collect Yoki plorts, I'm gonna go ahead and just deposit these for crafting first. So we don't have a consistent way to farm them. So I don't think it's valuable selling them because I'd rather sell wait what? <laughs> what what's the jelly stone doing growing on my on my ceilings <laughs> has that has that always been there have I just never noticed it until now what on earth wait are there more I, anything on this? Oh no, now I have to like second guess myself and start staring up at the ceilings <laughs> to see if I missed anything. Wait, no, really? Is it just. Is that even a thing? No, that's just water dripping. Okay, okay. I, may, maybe it was just that one. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like, it's that's what they say, you know, first person pl uh, shooter games, nobody looks up. Gamers do not look up in first person shooters. Since Slime Rancher is one of those, I also did not look up until I noticed that. Yeah, true gamers never look up. Alright, uh... Uh... We need to find more Yoki slimes, but I don't know where to find those. Hmm. Wait, excuse me. Unless you're me because I look up because I'm short. No. <laughs> Indonesian. Oh, that'd be kind of spooky if you looked up and there was some spooky stuff. Okay, wait, no, I should I should make it clear. The idea I have with the game will end up being, a, like, there will be some horror elements because I can't help it. So it won't be, it won't be like a super cozy game, to be completely honest. Like, it will be cozy on the surface of it. Um, but watch, 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 watch. Oh, you, you missed the bite. Try again. Om nom nom. And then... See that? One, two, three, four plorts. Two of each because I ate a favorite. <sighs> this is how we make a ton of plorts, chat. This is how we make this is how we make farming is super easy. Misax, hello. Thank you for the one year. Thank you, thank you. I had a great time with you and the Koi Panias. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for re-upping the membership. Thank you, thank you. This is how we get rich. Yes, this is how we get a whole bunch of plorts. 
I, I, would, I was gonna say money money, but then I realized that some of them is some of it's considered food and not quite all just money, so I don't know what to think about it, but I'll well, we won't ask too many questions. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much. Look at that. Free range plorts. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, hungry. Oh, that's not growing yet. Here. Oh no, they keep... <laughs> they bounce because they, I shoot the little Q-berry at them. Oh, the little smile. Alright, let's go back. We're getting rich. Yes. Oh wait, no. You can't go out into the sunlight. You are a Largo, but you're still vulnerable to the sunlight, so we don't want you to pop. Alright, let's go deposit these. Wow. Shinrich. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Phosphor plorts. Are they worth much money? Oh, 37. Ooh. Okay, wait, wait. There's a there's plenty, so let's go ahead and sell some of these. And then we'll go deposit the pink plorts. Oh. This is how we make money, chat. Yeah, I wish I wish I could find more backpack slots or like increase the size of the tanks to make more. All right, let's see. Now that we have the phosphors and pinks going on, we gotta get the wait. Hold up, don't we already have some honey bunnies? I'm pretty sure we have some honey bunnies already. I'm like ninety percent certain, right? Yeah, these are honey bunnies. Oh, wait, can't have you here. Goodbye, ringtail. Oh wow, that one went far. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we do have hunt. Wait, no, these are not honeys. Um, they are flutters, flutter bunnies. Okay, we need to get some honey. Oh, there's some stuff here too. Hmm. Okay, let's clear out these. Sorry, puddle, plur, puddle, slimes. All right, let's replace this with a regular coral, and then give them all of the trimmings, everything. This is why we have bunny chat. <laughs> and then we put the bunnies here. How much is that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Hmm. Should we send them off into... Should we send them off into the slime sea? I'm thinking we should send them off to the slime sea. That way we can clear this out and focus on the honeys? Or... Hmm. Do I want to send them to the slime sea? Maybe what I'm thinking is, huh? We do have some tangle slimes over there. It would make it very easy to raise tangle slimes because we already have two plots here of water lettuce, and that would make it easier to farm the tangle tangle bunnies. And then we get, oh, but I kind of like, hmm. Susan, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Please take care. Okay, okay. Let's. Uh, let's go ahead and empty this out. And then return all of these slimes to the slime ocean. Let's return them to the slime ocean and then replace these with honey bunnies and honey tangles, or uh, cotton tangles. So, because we do need to farm a lot of cotton plorts. So I'm thinking maybe cotton tangle, and then have three patches for water lettuce, as I'm thinking. Hmm. Because that will double up on the cotton plorts, 
but also give us a little bit of tangle ports and a little bit of honey ports. Flutter ports at 30, so we'll sell those for now. Tangle bunny seems like something like a Bulbasaur. <laughs> I could see that. I could see it. Okay, cotton ports. Let me go double check and see how many we have. Cotton ports, we have 76. And then puddle ports, 146. Okay, let's go ahead and just drop all of these here then. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's so many. Oh, that sounds so nice. I don't know, the, the, the ports are ASMR to me, chat. Okay, let's go and grab some chickens. Hang on, let me see. Do we have any special, the favorite ones for the tingles? Their favorites are painted hens. No, we don't have any painted hens, unfortunately. We have regular hens. Still a little too much, but that's okay. All right, let's take a few hens and drop them over and turn them into tangle tangle bunnies shinri sniffle please don't get sick i had this weird smell in my nose when i inhale that almost smells like a like a slight sinus infection so i'm worried that i might be getting a little bit sick but i don't know right now hopefully not but okay got some of the plorts so we take those and then we're going to turn these into Tangled bunnies. Like so, by going that. Oh. They're actually really cute with the flower and the ears. Oh my god, that's actually really adorable. It's like they're wearing a little backpack. Oh my god. It's either like a little hat or like a backpack. Oh, that's actually really cute. Oh my god. So cute. Let's play music. Okay, okay. So now that they've combined... Hmm... I don't think... I think we need to have three garden plots in order to support two pens. So let me go ahead and feed you some of your favorites so that we can get a whole bunch more. And then... Oh, wait, hold up. We can drop a few more of these in here. It can't be too many because uh, the tingle, uh, tingle slimes will get a little bit rowdy. Okay, so combine. Combine. There we go. Oh, they're so cute. Cotton slime. Oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Perfect. Nice. Look at that. Oh, they're so cute. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now we get both tangle plorts and cotton plorts. Hmm. Okay, tangle and cotton plorts are good. Let me go throw these away. We should sell all of these and get rid of them. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Oh, Tango ports are $55. Oh my gosh. I work at school, can say something is going around. They're treating it like the 2020 sickness, but I think it's something else. Uh oh. Oh no. I hope everyone is able to stay safe. I hear there is like a fungal infection going around. I've been seeing more um, like articles about this fungal infection. It shouldn't be a problem for most healthy adults, but it's one of those things of kind of like it. Just be aware that it's happening, and just be be on the lookout to you know pay attention to any signs that you might get. Oh hey, you managed to survive. Welcome back. <laughs> Better to be overly cautious. I think I think a lot of us are kind of traumatized by what happened a couple of years ago. Okay, I'm gonna watch to make sure. Okay, back into the sea. 
I think a few of us are a little bit traumatized from what happened a couple of years ago that uh, a lot of people are kind of erring on the side of caution to be more safe rather than sorry. But I've been reading some articles about that. I'd be like, oh, I should, I should keep my eyes out just in case anything happens. But yeah. But then again, I am, again, I'm not like a uh, epidemiologist or anything, so do take what I say with the grain of salt. I am just here for entertainment. Isn't a fungal infection the last, last of us? Oh, no. Please. We got... We have the last of us in real life before GTA 6. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Last of Us IRL before GTA 6. Oh my goodness. I hope not. I hope not. Emily, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and return these cotton flutters into the slime ocean. And then we will shuffle... We'll... Hang on. Oh, I had to get rid of one of the pens. Okay, so I'll move all of these into this pen and then turn them into... Wait. I want to keep them pretty close. Uh, no, but we are in the pen set up already. I don't want to spend that much money on them. Hmm. Gonna start running away from anyone clicking with their tongues. <laughs> yeah. Please be sure to follow good hygiene. Wash your hands if you've been outside before you eat or prepare food. The usual things like that. Oh. oh no. I'm getting very eeps. I don't know why I'm getting leepy. Yeah. I've been trying to get my uh, sleep schedule under control, I've been doing a decent job of it, okay? I have been able to get my... Uh, I've been able to sleep before 4 a.m. fairly consistently now. Um, there has not been a day that I've slept after 4 a.m., so I take it as a win. So for me, it's like, do, do it. Did I sleep before four? Yes. Okay. Victory. So yeah, and then afterwards, I'm gonna try to get to like three a.m., two a.m., one a.m., and then hopefully make one a.m. my usual sleep time because I can't actually go to sleep at at like midnight. I feel like there's a lot of work I still need to do, and like a lot of planning and stuff. So one a.m. is like my goal for now. Is this what copium sounds like? <laughs> I found out my roommate likely doesn't wash her hands after using the bathrooms. Oh no! Uh oh. That's. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's a oof. I couldn't handle that. I like how? Okay, we'll put you all in here and then I don't believe I have any honeys. So I'm going to have to go get some honey plorts, uh, which means another journey outside, but I've been holding on to these puddle slimes for a little bit, so let me go free them back into the wild for a little bit. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I, yeah, I had to wash your hands. I don't know. I I just... I couldn't do that. Wouldn't be able to handle it. Oh, they're shy. Oh, they're blushing. They're so cute. Need to be like you. Sometimes I stay up until 4. Have classes work at 8. I do like, well, just might as well stay up. <laughs> Aww. Think about the soup I've in. I hope you're able to get to sleep and the rest you need, though. It really is. It does, like, end up having long-term effects if you don't take care of your health too much. Oh, they're so cute. Mm. 
<sighs> I thought you meant honey IRL. <laughs> With how I spent Valentine's Day yesterday. No, I don't have a honey iron mouth. <laughs> no. I wish, but sadly, no. Oh, they're so cute. Oh. Okay. I, hmm. I'm actually thinking maybe we should move these tangle bunnies. I want to move the tangle bunnies. We're going to put them into this pen here. Just to keep these two pens close together, I want to keep you all here. Did you get a lot of discount candies? No, not yet. I haven't gone out. And as much as I'd like to joke about discount chocolates, I actually don't really have that big of a sweet tooth. So for me, it ends up being like, a, oh, that's nice. Like, I'll pick up a few for, like, my you know doomsday prep kit. But I don't really die. I don't like to buy too much because it's too sweet for me. Yeah. Hey, Gianna, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Get lots of good sleep and eeps. Yeah, so the way that I do it is um, I have... Okay, so like quick crash course um, for like if you are a, like a doomsday prepper, right? Uh, make sure that your stash of food includes morale boosting food. So, you know, you don't want to end up in the zombie apocalypse and be all like, oh, do I have to eat beans and rice again for the 800th time? The world is ending and this is all we can eat. You know, you don't want to end up like that. You want to have some chocolate with you. You want to have some, you know, some spices, some herbs, things to like freshen up your, uh, your meals so that, you know, when, if the world is, you know, suffering through a last of us type of scenario at the very least you will have tasty food you know and sometimes you want maybe you crave chocolate a little bit right so make sure you include things like that like chocolates and and spices and all that in your doomsday kit so you know when you're having a, a struggle day when things are really difficult right but yeah pack tahine pack some tabasco some wasabi you know all that kind of stuff so when you're having a, a struggle day, like maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe you met someone really cool, but because the plot required them to move forward and have you experience a character development moment, um, they're like, oh no, you know, make sure my, my daughter is safe or whatever, and then they get eaten by the zombies, right? And you're like, no, right? And you, and you go through that whole terrible scene, right? And then afterwards, you get back home and you're like, oh man, what a day. You know, and then your friends will be like, it's only been, it's only Tuesday. What are you talking about? Right? If, if you have to go through that episode, right? Then at the very least, you have some chocolate to be able to like, hey, I know some, some, you know, whack stuff happened and just went down, but uh, ha have some chocolate, you know, <laughs> like feel better, you know? <laughs> but you want that morale food. So that's kind of what I do. I have some chocolate, and the places that I keep it are um, in the glove compartment of my horse-drawn carriage. I have a small pack of chocolate. Right now, the one I have is old Halloween candy. But like, let's say, worst case scenario, you are taking your horse-drawn carriage for a ride, and then you end up getting stuck in the snow, and you have to kind of sit there and bundle up for, who knows, like 10 hours until rescuers arrive, right? You want that little bit of sweet. You want that little bit of chocolate there to give you a little bit of morale, kind of make you feel good and feel happy um, while you're waiting for a rescue to show up. You know, that kind of stuff. Also, like, let's say, uh, like, you're driving in and you crash and then your car falls down a, a ravine, right? And now you're stuck at the bottom of the ravine and get to survive for a few days. You know, you can drink water off of rain, but you can't eat food because you're not sure which is safe to eat. So that's why you get the little chocolate there. Yeah. Does it not melt in the horse-drawn carriage? It does. But then it just becomes a more fun jigsaw puzzle, right? Hip hip right? think of the super. Chocolate for plot relevant against fun. Angst funds. <laughs> Thank you for the super. Angst funds. Oh my god. That could be an actual thing, though. Did the horses try to steal and eat it? No. Thankfully, the horses are very, uh... Very well behaved. <laughs> Serious question though, would you 
Would you eat one last tasty meal and then get eaten by zombies? Or would you eat a crappy food and survive through the apocalypse? I would eat crappy food and... Oh my god, this... Okay. I would eat crappy food, but it would be like... I would give... Have you seen... Have you guys seen The Road? The movie The Road with Viggo Mortensen? Um, there's that one scene where he's like scavenging through a ruined mall. And he finds like this vending machine. And inside is this one can of soda and he gives it to his son and says like hey you know have this it's sweet it's tasty it's a relic of the old days you know before everything went down and like that's what i would do i would make sure that whoever i'm with and whoever like we're protecting gets to eat the tasty meal and then i'll just eat the the beans and rice you know yeah but then Chat's gonna be like, shit, me, your self sacrifice kink is showing again. <laughs> yeah. Kinda is. <laughs> I can't help it. Alright. Oh. There we go. Ooh, they're already growing. Look at that. Zoom, zoom. Sacrificing your tasty food for others. Yeah. They don't need to know how difficult it is outside. Not yet. They're not ready for it. So we will spend the time to teach them to make sure that they're ready. But until, until then, they don't have to worry about those. You know? Kind of missing the bee drone. Same. Back off starving children. Those Cheetos are mine. <laughs> What was it? Like in um, Zombie Land, he's looking for uh, was it Wichita? No, Tallahassee. Okay, Tallahassee. Tallahassee was looking for like some Twinkies, and he's like, ah, oh, the last Twinkies, because all the manufacturing uh, factories all went down, so there's no more, no more Twinkies. <laughs> I can sacrifice myself, but not my banger omurais. <laughs> That's fair, that's fair. Omo rice is pretty good. Okay, let's scoop that. Make sure we have it in our pockets. Unpopular opinion, but Twinkies are gross. I don't think they're too bad. I think, um, because Twinkies, the only thing Twinkies are, they are sponge cakes with a little bit of cream filling. And you can recreate those pretty easily. Um, well, from what I hear, I am not a baker. I am more of a cooker. Chef? They, no, like, I, I cook using the stove. I do not bake using the oven. But you can make sponge cakes pretty easily. Twinkies taste like plastic. If you leave them for too long, they do have that weird, like, chemical-y taste. And I agree, that kind of, that part's a little nasty. Baking with Shinwi. No, I cannot bake. I wish I could. I know I'm not that good of a baker myself, though. But I can cook, like, oh, give me something to cook and I'll cook. Give me a pan, some oil, and I'll have some vegetables, some kind of protein. I don't know what, though, but, yeah. All right, look at that. Okay, since they are Largos, I don't think we need to put to max speed. Half speed we should be okay for all of these. And then you are all hungry. Oh no. Okay, we'll make sure that you get some food too. We should go find some honey plorts and combine these into honey bunnies. So let's do that. You and Gibby need to do a cooking collab. Shouldn't we give you cooking stream? Ah, oh, that'd be really cool. We need to find time. We gotta find time for that. Man, Twinkies taste too artificially sweet. They do have that quality to them, don't they? I can definitely see that. I prefer chips. Would eat that till the palate or tongue starts hurting. Oh my god. My my guilty pleasure is Takis and sea salt vinegar chips. Oh my god, it is so bad. I will eat sea salt and vinegar chips until I shred the roof of my mouth. 
As for Takis though, I just lick the flavoring off. I don't eat the whole thing. And it saves a lot of calories, chat, okay? this It's an actual strategy, okay? You just toss Takis into your mouth, roll it around, lick off the, the flavoring, right? And then you don't eat the chip because the chip part, it doesn't have flavor, right? It's just kind of a boring, like, rolled corn chip thing, you know? Taki's too good, yeah. I wanted to sell Taki powder. Okay, what I want to do is I want to take Taki's powder and then sprinkle it on top of uh, baked macaroni and cheese. That's what I want to do. Does that not sound amazing? The texture, the crunches for texture. No, it's just calories. It's calories at that point. So I cannot. Wait, honeys are not this way. Honeys are the other way. I've never eaten Takis or Cheetos before. Oh, I will... St I'm going to be honest. You are actually not missing out on too much. <laughs> because they are very much in the category of junk food. Um... But like the flavoring is like spicy lemon. The lemon enhances the spice and oh, it's just really nice. Yeah, the red 40 dye. Oh, love that. Love red 40. Something was similar with hot cheese, hot cheetahs, mac and cheese. Yeah, exactly. I'm thinking since you can make. Oh my god, look at it. <gasps> Look, oh, is that for me? Thank you. Oh, they're so cute. Oh. Oh, look at it. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you, are you collecting them or just putting them in the corner? Oh. <gasps> they're piling it all together. Oh. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh my god, my heart. Ah. I don't know if you can see it, but like, I want to squeeze them. I want to, I just want to... Their cuteness aggression. I don't know if I want to hug them or punch them. I imagine, like, punching them to not do any damage. Because they're like slimes. So if you punch them, they just bounce. <laughs> they gave you a carrot, they did. Tabby slimes are my favorite time for that behavior. I wish that other slimes also had that kind of cute behavior, but yeah, tabby slimes just biting onto food and then dropping it off at other places. Oh my god, my heart. My heart. Aww. Oh, yeah. Alright, let us go find some honey plorts because we gotta get some honey plorts to turn those into honey bunnies. When my cute question is when I want to strangle something adorable, right? Oh, they look like chocolate. Golden chocolate. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's too heavy. Can't jump. Oh, poor thing. All right, let's look for some honey plorts. Honey plorts. Mm, it looks like they've already eaten a lot of stuff, so I guess we'll feed them carrots. And maybe by feeding them carrots, we can get them to give us some plorts. Ah, <gasps> perfect! We already have the cotton plorts, so we'll go ahead and grab just the honey ones. Imagine if they migrated in packs instead of bouncing around randomly. Right! They had like a little bit of AI behavior. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, some more here. <laughs> Teapot Lucky, hello! Thank you so much for you being that membership. Welcome back. Thank you for the three months. Oh, goody, oh, goody. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. Okay, got some honeys here. I think that should be enough. Oh, one more. Perfect. All right, let's head back, turn those bunnies into honey bunnies, and then we can start farming honey plorts too. Slime ecosystem Monoli Park, right? Oh, that'd be so cool. 
I, I will say, from what I've seen of their updates here to Slime Rancher 2, I think they have a really big vision for what the end goal of Slime Rancher 2 will look like. So I'm really excited to see more future updates. Honestly, watching and listening to Shimei triggers my cute aggression. Look! Look at that smile! Look at that pleasant smile! Who could not be... Who could not have their, like, cute aggression activated by this? They're so cute. Oh. <laughs> All right. Don't need the carrots. Honey bunnies are cute. They're adorable. Oh, I can't wait to see what they look like. <sighs> Once we get that set up, what I think I'll do is just go back outside because we need to look for more of those recipes. Because I saw a few things that were um, automation related that I really want to try making. Though I... we haven't found those yet. So... We gotta find all those recipes, chat. Have you seen the Steam announcements? they have got a huge updates coming next year. Ooh! Wait, coming through the next year? It's only February. Do they have year-long projects lined or year-long updates lined up? That's gonna be so exciting. Ooh. Can't wait, can't wait. All right, let's head over this way. Ah, uh, it still smells weird. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of an affection building up. Hope it doesn't last for too long though. They have two or three planned. Ooh. Can't wait, can't wait. All right, here we go. Honey bunnies. Oh. Honey bunnies, oh, look at them. Okay, wait, gotta get, get some water lettuce, water lettuce. Let's get a few of these, scoop them up. Oh. They're like bunnies with chocolate on them. Oh, they're so cute. I hate to say it, but I still just want to grab the the honeycomb on top of their foreheads and take a big chomp out of it because they're just, it looks like chocolate. I want to make a giant slime pile for nappy time. Same. Emmy, thank you for reaping the membership. Okoidi, okoidi. Oh man, they're so cute. Okay, let's scoop up some of these cotton plants. I think honeys are pretty low. Yeah, they're pretty low because we just turned them into honey bunnies. 88, perfect. Well fed, ready to go. Oh, plenty. Let's go. Oh my god. We're doing it, chat. We're doing it. Oops. We gotta find a way to get rid of all of these uh, cotton plorts quickly. How do we do that though? We can only carry 50 at a time. I wish I could combine the boxes. Like, I want two boxes of cotton plorts instead of just one. Ah. Uh, that's why I can't have food shaped super candles. I might take a bite. <laughs> Okay, cottons are only worth 10, so it's not really worth selling those. Pinks are only worth 12. We want to farm those too. Tangles are 48, so let's sell them while they're still high. And then the rest we'll go ahead and toss into the fabricator. Yeah. Mark your refinery release, give it picked up in place, but new updates taking time to install. Yeah, that's ah uh, the I'm impatient. I want them to just build instantly like they did. Hello, little guy. Where did you come from? Oh. Dings, minks, hello. Thank you for the 10 months. Hi, Shinri. It's my birthday today. Thank you for keeping me company. And thank you, Kois, for being here. Oh, happy birthday, Dings, minks. Happy birthday. Congratulations on surviving another trip around the sun. I hope you were able to enjoy. Taste, uh, eat some tasty, delicious foods. Treat yourself to something nice. Happy birthday! Oh, there's way too many hens. How do I even get rid of all these? Okay, we'll feed the fire 
Oh, <gasps> that's right. We have to feed the fire slimes. I totally forgot to feed them. Uh oh. Are you eating? I think you're full. Okay, good. There we go. Clear out a few of these. And then all the way back here, we gotta go feed some of the fire slimes. <gasps> we should also grab some of these, uh, these hens here. Because there's quite a lot of you guys too. There we go. Try to keep the population down a little bit. How do I get rid of these? Isn't that the plot of chicken run? <laughs> I want a homestead IRL one day. That'd be really cool. I like the idea of homesteading it, um, but at the same time, I'm gonna be honest, I I like being connected to the internet. <laughs> so like my number one priority would be power, electricity, and making sure I have internet connection. Like that would be like my absolute number one priority. My homesteading would be literally just a cardboard box but as long as I have power and internet, I am okay. That's what I'd be going for. <laughs> it's a full-time job. Yeah, that's what I hear. It's not something that you can just do so casually. It's all about fiber and underground wires. Man, I wish. Fiber is actually, I hear, very, um, very difficult to do. It's kind of the reason why, um, like, I believe Google? Was it Google that was trying to do it? I think it was Google and a couple of other companies as well. They were trying to make fiber a big thing, but ended up having to cancel a lot of their plans because just the cost became so prohibitively expensive the more you the more you did it. Because you're essentially rebuilding the entire like infrastructure you have there, because you're not using the same cables that were already um, already built in and and set inside, you know. Hyper fiber net, so nice. Man, I wish I had fiber. Maybe then I wouldn't have any internet problems like I constantly do all the time. <laughs> okay, this plot needs a few, a bit more food. It's kind of low. And then the one in here. How are you guys doing? <gasps> oh no, you already ate all of the, the ash. Okay, I'm going to get you some more food here. Do not worry. Chad, don't you think, like, this fire plort would be very nice to have in your pocket? Imagine just having this in your pocket to keep you warm during the winter. Like, you'd have two of these, like, one in each pocket to, like, just hold on to. Oh, wait, excuse me. They look so nice and warm. Forbidden gushers, yeah. They put in lines for fiber, but then turn it on. Be waiting for a year. No, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope they didn't forget. And I hope they turned it on soon. Give you that fiber. Hasn't grown yet. Hasn't grown yet. Okay. Um, in that case, what I want to do is take a few from here and just separate out. Make sure that we can get about half half. It's like 26 to about, about that much. It's like 40, 40. And then we'll divide it in half here so that you guys can also get fed too. Talk about a burning a hole in your pocket. <laughs> Having literal fire in your hand. But look how warm that looks. Oh my god. If they added terraforming, I'll have a thousand hours in this game. If they added terraforming, I I would not survive too. I oh my god, no, I could not. I would want to just terraform my entire place to make this perfectly optimized uh, ranch that just ah, oh, it'd be so nice if you could. Thirty one, but I think fire parts are the ones we're also running low on. So let me go double check first. Fire plorts. 95? So let's drop in 5. So that we have a nice even 100. 
and then the rest will go ahead and sell. A terraced rice field. Oh, that'd be so cool. I kind of wish there was more to build. Like, it would be really cool if you could, like, refine the plorts into something more intense. Maybe higher quality? I don't know. Something. Because right now, it's just you use them to build, um, like, uh... You build some gadgets? But I want there to be, like, consumable things, too, you know? Imagine how many puddle slimes you could have. Right? Oh, that'd be so nice. Like you do in Stardew Valley. Yeah, if I could automate everything. That's the whole, that's the hope, the goal. It's to have a nice farm that I can just wake up, step outside, and then sip my morning coffee while looking at the entire farm just operating on its own, taking care of itself. Ah, oh, that'd be the dream. That would be the dream, Chad. Also, the, my favorite part of that would be that even if I'm sleeping, the, the entire farm would be automated. So I would wake up and then just open my eyes to a bounty of slime ports and wealth. Oh, that'd be so nice. Yeah. Automating everything is awesome. Just such a luxury, right? There's like two games that I have not played yet. Um, Satisfactory, I think. And then... Uh, Satisfactory is a 3D one. What's the, what's the top-down one? The 2D top-down one. Um, there's another one that's kind of like all about... Uh, like automation. I've avoided playing that because I know those would be like super addicting for me. Factorio, yeah, that's the one. There we go. I've avoided playing those because I know if I start, I would not be able to stop because that game is just all about scratching that itch. Oh my god. Rimworld? Oh, that too. I could not though. I have to avoid it. I have to avoid it. Because if I start, I'm not going to stop, and then my branding as a horror streamer will come, at, come to an end. Because I will no longer be streaming horror games, I'll just be streaming Factorio and Satisfactory. It's just, it'll be just those, and then Farming Sims, like a Slime Rancher and, uh, and Stardew Valley. <laughs> it'll just be that. Hmm. Since we do have twice as many cotton, maybe we should go ahead and bring back that uh, warp depot. Maybe? Yeah, we should do the warp depot. So I'll put the warp depot like here in the middle. Like against place there. And then we'll put you on the other side. Because we can only carry 50 items. Um, this way, it'll be easier for me to uh, carry the additional cotton ports. Uh, yeah, let's put you here. All right. Yeah. That tour gives me anxiety because if I try to min max with the end game at the start, uh, I, I know that feeling, though. I know that feeling. Thankfully for me, I don't know how to play the game, so I don't know what to optimize. So until I do, I'm just gonna stumble around. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, hey, look, guy. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what? Let's just dump them all there. Okay. Um. Uh, whoops. Not this one. Okay. Tangle ports. I only have one of these, so we should deposit all of you in here. Farming games, I usually don't make my base super efficient, but I make them aesthetic and convenient instead. See, for me, I want them to be super efficient early on, and then after I have made them super efficient, and I got tons of money to spare, that's when I feel confident in making them aesthetic. That's what I do. 
like if I don't have all the materials ready to go, then I don't feel confident in like uh, making the place look nice because my big worry would be I'll start adding cosmetics and then I run out of materials and then I have to go farming again and then after I farm I have to go back and build and I don't like that back and forth so what I like to do is I have, like to have a big stockpile first and then after I have the big stockpile that's when I start working on cosmetics. It's just the way my uh my 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 brain works. <laughs> Have you guys tried Sunhaven? It's like Stardew, but supernatural entities without the energy decrease part. Ooh. I will say I'm not familiar with it. Oh, it's another lightning storm. Ooh. Oh, that's so nice. Another lightning storm. Let's go. Inaki, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Please take care. I don't think we have perms for Sunhaven, but I'll take a look at that. Crystal port, 150. That should be plenty. Batty plorts, we have 150 as well. Ringtail and boom. Ringtail, hunter, ringtail. 138, so pretty good. And then boom slime. Boom plorts. Okay, let's go ahead and deposit all the boom plorts in here. Just a couple of ringtail plorts and then sell the rest of it. There we go. 160, 120, 150, 166. Okay, not bad. Still not find a single dervish since the weather update. Me neither. Sadness. But we'll get there in time. We can find them in time. There is no rush. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, I realize I've had my uh, the pink slimes in my pocket the entire time so far, and I haven't put them away. I was planning on putting them into the caves to turn to more pink phosphors. Oh my god, I love the rain! Oh, it's so nice, Chad. Hello, everybody. How are we all doing today? Got some more friends for you. Ooh. <laughs> All right, okay. Let's go ahead and scoop some of these. Pink and phosphor plurts. Monomi Park, please give us a way to not pick up a Largo. I just want to scoop the plurts and that's all. There we go, got a few here. It's a bunch over here, excuse me, sorry. Coming through, oh, look at that. <gasps> There's so many. This is kind of when um, the bee, the worker bees, would come in really handy because they would go ahead and pick out all of the uh, plorts that you would tell them. So you tell the worker bees, oh, I only want you to collect the plorts. So you leave them here and then they'll go pick up all the free range plorts without having to worry about um, like manually scooping them up or having to deal with this, these Largo issues. Yeah, blink the thought I missed the rest of the stream. Oh no. Do not worry. <laughs> My neighbors are doing something outside again. They're still outside. What are they doing? I don't know what they're doing, but they're still outside. All right, let's go ahead and deposit these. And since it's a lightning storm, I want to do a quick search outside for some more lightning motes because now that I know that lightning strikes creates uh, items that we could pick up, I want to go scoop them up too. Prime lawn mowing hours, right? Exactly at. Oh my god, is it 10 p.m. already? Has it been four hours? Oh my god, no, it doesn't feel like it's been four hours. No, it feels like we just started. What? No way. We haven't even we haven't even started on the whole gadgets thing. That was the whole point of this stream too, to try to find those gadgets and start building them. We haven't even done that. I spent the whole time just off them. Oh my god. Oh no. Maybe that's why I'm so eepy. It's been four hours. Oh my god. 
Hamilko, thank you. Okuri, thank you for reappearing for eight months. Money Shinri, hope you and the quiz are having a wonderful day night. I have a small question. When you were a student, what gave you motivation to do homework? What gave you motivation to do homework? To be completely honest, the only thing that really gave me motivation to do homework was almost failing one of my classes and then suffering through just the desperation of trying to cram right before the class and it was such a bad experience that I did not like it and I was like never again I, I would not do this again and then it just kind of made me realize like studying a little bit and working on things bit by bit over time was much more sustainable for me in the long run than it was trying to uh, just cram and it wasn't that much work it was just like you know, a little for like projects. Um, so, like for example, in college, um, the projects would be like you have one big essay due at the end of the semester, right? And then I'm thinking to myself, like end of the semester, psh, that's so long from now. I'll do it later, right? And then I completely forgot about it. And then two months would go by, and I'm like, oh god, I have not started at all. And then you know, I would have no one else to blame but myself. So, I just sat there and like reminded myself like all right Shiri, remember how stressful this was remember how difficult it was staying up all night trying to do an essay last minute you know do you really want to go through that again no it's like okay let's let's do a little bit now let's just get some research started or let's get you know an outline written down just a little bit you know and then i found that convincing myself to be like okay today i'm just gonna get the outline started and then i get the outline started and then it's like, you know what? I've already started. I might as well go flesh out a few of those. Like, let me put some paragraphs down and a few bullet points, you know? Like, it ended up being that way. And I found that actually helped me a lot easy. Uh, or, like, that helped smooth that transition to, like, start working. Um, much more than... Or, like, in a much nicer way than being all like, hey, should read that, that semester essay that was due. Uh, it's due tomorrow. And now you have to stay up and do an all-nighter. <laughs> so yeah that's kind of how I did it um, so it's mostly just avoiding the terrible feeling rather than like something positive but that's what worked for me um, that particular style may not work for anyone else I know for others um, I have a good friend who is more successful in rewarding themselves for getting a task done, as opposed to me, who is more avoiding consequences. So like that kind of stuff works for me. Um, so honestly, it's really about finding what style works for you. So are you the type of person that works well when given an incentive to work on something? Or are you someone like me who works better when you're trying to avoid negative consequences? Um, and there is no simple answer for that. So one thing you could do is just experiment. Try it out, you know? See if a style works for you. If it doesn't, cool. You've learned, and now we get to try a different style. And then you take that moving forward into other classes, you know? So that's the way I would do it. And sadly, no one really teaches you to learn that about yourself. You kind of have to discover that on your own. Um, so it's got to be something you take control of yourself, you know, like, all right, I'm going to teach myself or maybe not even teach, but more of like a, I'm going to find out what kind of a student I am myself, you know? So that's like the approach I would go. It's very like scientific, very kind of, you know, like I'm going to try this and if it doesn't work, that's okay because we're, we're all learning right now. No one taught me what kind of a student I am. So it's up to me to find out. And don't be hard on yourself if you don't get it down right the first time. Oh no, my pockets are full. There we go. Yeah. The bats are gonna break free, that's okay. We, we don't really need them to be honest. I think we have plenty of batty plots already, but... <laughs> But yes, I think there might be like one or two too many Largos in there. <laughs> you know what, here, we'll take you and just return you out to the, to the slime sea. Finally understanding what senior burnout is, I hope I get past it. Ooh. 
Yeah. I I don't have a good like I don't have any good advice for senior burnout because for me I really felt that and you don't ever really end up being a senior that many times in your life. So for me, I have not had the opportunity to go back and be like, all right, well, if I had that chance again, this is what I would do differently, you know? I really didn't have the, that moment. So um, I haven't been able to really figure out exactly what to do with senior burnout. It just ended up being like, a, okay, well, I, I need to force myself to finish this. And I just kind of grinded it out that way. I haven't found like a smooth transition because I don't really feel that. I don't think that senior burnout ever comes up again. Um, perhaps in if you go to like if you experience senior burnout in high school, and then you end up experiencing senior burnout again in college, like similarly. But I don't know if that's enough um, opportunities for you to really develop a strategy if it's just those t two moments in your life, unfortunately. Love you last year, but your disorganization is giving me PTSD. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you for the super, Fra Fra. This is not disorganization. This is free range slimes. That's what it is. We we will label it as free range and not disorganized chaos. <laughs> but yeah. It hit me hard. I was a much better student before I started my junior, eventually worse in my senior year. Yeah. But I mean, throughout the whole thing, the big thing is don't be too harsh on yourself. You know, it's a thing that it's a real thing that a lot of people experience and a lot of people go through. Oh, wait, I can put these in the fabricator. So, you know, let yourself feel those mistakes, but also, you know, Look for different ways and different methods that keep you accountable and work for you. Yasayan, hello. Thank you so much for being with me. Welcome back. Okay, okay. Steal that the next time someone said my slime match is OCD. <laughs> it's anti OCD. Yes, it is. It is uh, free range, organic. We don't have pens. We don't have. Uh, we let the slimes roam free for. All their nutrients. Contemporary, exactly. It's brand new, you know, it's it's uh it's a new new trend. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at all these plorts. Oh my god, we are rich. Well, I'm not selling them, so I don't think we're rich, but like we we are wealthy in plorts. We have many, many plorts. Oh, this is so nice. Yeah. I can't wait for the bees. I really need the bees to come back. Because I can't do this on my own, chat. I gotta have the bees to like manage the free range farms. Yes, I am. Thank you for the six months. Thank you, thank you. It's been so long. Hi, Koi Dad. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Alex, you don't have to worry about pink plurts anymore. This is true. I'm hoping we have at least 200 pink plurts. At least 200 because they got like 50 per tri uh, per trip back and forth. You don't live in the past, you live in the now. Try to forgive yourself. Try to forgive yourself. It's the only real option. Mm. I was about to say you need the working bees. We really do need the bees. Oh, cute. All right, let's take a look. Ah, oh, we got it. 200 plorts. Got almost 200 cotton plorts. Perfect. And then phosphor. Almost 200 phosphors as well. We're a little bit short on hunter plorts. We'll have to go pick up those again. Rock plorts we have actually zero of. And flutter plorts. Okay. I think next time we can do... Hmm. What are, we, what are we low on? It looks like we're low on tangles, but we've already got those with the cottons. And then we have the cotton and honeys. So I think the next time we'll do is we'll combine a hunter plort with rock plorts and then rocks with flutters. Because rock is one of the more basic ones that eats up a lot, like the pink ones. So we'll combine these two and then combine those two. 
and then be on the lookout for more Yoki plorts too. Because I think once we get the cotton with the tangle going, these two will be easily taken care of. Let's take a look. Decorations. Oh, wait. Do we have any of the, the trees? No, we don't have any of the ghostly tree decorations. Not yet, at least. Darn. But we can start making these like rainbow grass. Ooh. Man. Happy to have been here for a while. Always lovely to relax with you. Should we take care? Kuyasumi Bida. Thank you for stopping by. You have a wonderful night. Or day. Hope you have a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Should we get some more of these frozen flames? I kind of want to. How many can we make? No. We can only make two. We must get some more frozen snowflakes. Yeah. All right. Oh, I want to get so many more of these. No, there's not enough chat. Oh my gosh, I want to line the entire place with these just because they glow. Oops, I want to hit escape to like leave. Oh. We only have three. We only have three. Oh! Lightning? Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Let's go see if we can find some lightning motes. Ooh. Okay, everyone, keep your eyes out for little sparks of light off in the distance. Okay, I remember there was a little area with a whole bunch of lightning motes. I think it was on this side, yeah, around here. I wonder if they'll spawn over here too, or... Hmm. Do you see how those plants glow? Chat, that's what I want. I want more of those. Okay. Lightning motes. Lightning motes. Come on, come on. Where would they be? Oh! <gasps> right here. Let's go. Oh. I thought I saw a few, but I maybe it was just the special effects. No. I realize your shirt is gone. Oh yeah. It was really hot, so I took my shirt off for a little while. Won't. Okay. Let's jump back up here. Hmm. Lightning strikes. Oh, poor Tar getting hit by the rain. Oh, no. Imagine being born, coming into existence, and it's just pain and suffering, and then you pop into just lights. Oof. Even for a Tar, that's a pretty... Oh! <gasps> and zap. There we go. Lightning modes. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> we got one! Okay. Oh, there's another tar that's... Oh! Oof. R.I.P. Oh, there's another one too. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is a terrible time to be born. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, that's a plort. I don't see any more. I think this is the best place for a vantage point to see. I don't... Oh! Right behind us! Nice! Oh, that is so cool! Oh! Wait, what? <gasps> Storm glass! When sky welds the earth! Oh! No way! So it's not just lighting modes, but you get different types of items too? Storm glass. Wait. 
Storm glass is formed when lightning strikes the ground and melts rock in an instant. Not only does storm glass make a surprisingly durable material, but adds a heavenly pop of color. Deposit storm glass into the uh, refinery where it can be used for crafting. Oh, yo, oh, that's so cool. So if it hits the ground, it turns into lightning modes, but if it hits rock, like right here, you get storm glass. That is so cool. No way. Also, just the description storm glass. That's so cool. Yeah, the description itself is cool. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <gasps> Gold slime. Hey. Oh, look at it go. And it's already gone. Wow, we were really lucky today. Ooh. Oh, not again. Oh my goodness, lightning striking twice. Lightning mode. Yeah. We got to see three of the lucky slimes and a gold slime. That's so cool. Oof. Oof. Look at that. Poor tar slime. <laughs> Why are we here? Just to suffer. <laughs> Alright, let's look for any more. Any more? Please, more lightning strikes. Almost unwittingly walked into one, yeah. I don't see any more sparkles. No. I do see some radiant ore there, or is that jelly jellystone? I think that might be jellystone. I think most Oh! Right here, right here, right here. Oh, that was close. Wow. <gasps> Storm glass, let's go. I wanna know what these are used for. I don't think I saw a recipe that used the storm glass. Maybe we haven't unlocked it yet. Jelly stone. Storm glass is a real thing. Fulgurite, even though most of them are pretty delicate. Oh, wait, isn't that what happens when lightning strikes hit the beach? And then the intense heat of the lightning strike melts the, uh, the sand into glass, right? And then they make these really um, intricate shapes because of the way the lightning travels through the sand. Yeah. Oh no, the music has changed. I guess the storm's about to end. No. Sadness. Well, we collected a good chunk. We collected two moats and six storm glass. They look so cool. I don't remember what they look like. I just remembered like that's kind of how they are formed. So I'm going to have to go back and, and remind my, refresh myself on what they look like. Wouldn't it be cool if you could like, I don't know, what, what like commercialize? No, not commercialize, industrialize that. Like, how would you do this? I'm thinking like maybe if you have a truck full of sand, right? And in the middle of the sand pile, you stick a giant lightning rod. And anytime there's a lightning storm, you drive that truck out into the storm with the intent of getting it zapped by the lightning. <laughs> and then you can go and sell it as fulgurite crystals because, and they could charge a lot because it would be very dangerous for you, so. You know, like, oh, the, the amount of effort and the amount of man hours it takes to make this is very expensive, so we can charge a lot, but these are lightning crystals made of glass. Okay, goodbye. A driving fire hazard. <laughs> oh, man, but what, wouldn't that be cool? They were like, oh, so what do you do for a living? I chase lightning storms with lightning rods to uh, make really intricate crystals. Like, that would be one heck of a description. That'd be so cool. And yeah, that would absolutely be a huge hazard, but I'm sure if you, like, took enough precautions, 
it could work. I, I don't know enough about, um, I don't know enough about like the physics of lightning strikes off the top of my head to be confident, but I'm sure you could study them well enough that you know how to do it safely, you know? Kind of like storm chasers? Yeah, like storm chasers. That'd be really cool. And now I'm wondering, like, is that an actual thing? Like, I'm curious. I wonder. You could eliminate most of the danger by using rockets with the wire down to the sand bed. Oh, that's true. You could do, like, you could do, like, the, the Benjamin Franklin thin thing with, like, a huge kite with a conductive wire through it. Oh, they all want to talk. Beatrix, I need a data point from you. I'm running an experiment on the psychological impact of gift reception. <laughs> Please tell me which of the following feelings you experience. Gratitude, joy, perhaps hunger. Please do not consume this gift. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. Another teleporter. Hey, B. I found something I was going to throw out, but then I just thought, hey, B likes old junk I don't need. But she would love this. You can thank me later. Ash blooms. Ooh. So I'm guessing like half of the new gadgets you either just get from these phone calls or you find in those little treasure chests around the map, perhaps. Apparently Storm Changer as an entry level has a salary of 67k a year and experienced one can get 117k. <gasps> Whoa, that's actually really cool. I'm not sure if 67k a year is, I don't know, is it like hazard pay? <laughs> Komori Kucha, hello! Popping in to say I've been falling asleep to streams lately because it's super cozy here. I shall do the same tonight. Good night. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Please get lots of sleep. Yeah, I hope so. I hope they would get some hazard pay. Willing to get struck by lightning? No! The hope is to avoid getting struck by lightning. You want to get the sand struck by lightning so you can turn them into crystals. That's what you want. You don't want to be hit by lightning, okay? Send the lightning to the sand, not to you. <laughs> hey, Amiga. How are you feeling out there? When I feel lonesome, go out and do something nice for a friend. Makes me feel right as rain every time. This is just my little way of saying I'm thinking of you. Aww. Emerald shrubs. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll tell her. You quiet now. I'm talking to her. Hey, B. Hobson wanted you to have this. He says if you don't want it, it'll still make a mighty fine kindling. Pink grass. <laughs> and Bob. Guess what? <gasps> Look at this one. Look at this one. The one in the middle. Chat, it's nibbling on the sky. Oh my god, so cute. It's nibbling on this scarf. I just noticed it. Oh my god. It's so cute. Okay, what? What, Bob? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Dot, 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 dot. You can't just say dot, 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 Bob. You can't just speak the ellipses out loud. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> Present time. Rock. <laughs> of course, three slimes in a trench coat would be the one to just give me a rock clump. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Oh, my heart. Oh my god, they are so precious. I love them. They're trying their best. Okay, true, true. They are trying their best. I shouldn't be so mad. I shouldn't be so mean up to them. Oh my god. Oh. But here's the thing, chat. How is Bob able to speak? You know? It makes me wonder, like, how... Of all the slimes out there, Bob seems to be the only one that is somehow sentient well not, well not just sentient but sapient too they they are like alive but they're also able to form thoughts and complete sentences well 
maybe not complete sentences, but like semi-complete sentences, you know? So why of all of the slimes, why is Bob able to talk, but seemingly none of the others? Curious, curious. They have the combined brain power of three slimes. <gasps> That's true. It's not just one slime or like a Largo, which is a combination of two. It's a combination of three slimes. It's one brain cell rapidly bouncing between three slime bodies. That's how it does. That's how it works. Ah <laughs> oh, man, they're so cute though. They did a DBC fusion. <gasps> Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. DBZ. Fusion. I have a low poly 3D model. I realize I can also just do the DBZ fusion dance myself. I just realized I could do that. <gasps> I'm just writing it down for myself so that I don't remember, that I don't forget. I can't do it now because my housemates are they're like probably sleeping soon, but like I just remembered like, oh, that's a thing I can do now. Now that I have three three dimensions. With who? Uh I'll I'll green screen it and then I'll leave it up to you to decide, chat. <laughs> I'll just do a I'll do a Dragon Ball Z fusion dance with just the green screen, and then you can edit me into anything and then see how that goes. Oh <gasps> wait, I wonder, could I get Axel and Altair to do the Dragon Ball Z fusion dance too? Because they also... <gasps> what if they do that during their collab stream? Which, by the way, is coming up soon, chat. Do keep your eyes out. The Axel Altair 3D collab stream. <gasps> oh, that'll be good. That'll be good. Okay, wait. DM them right now? Hang on. I should, I should DM them right now. Uh... Wait. Dragon Ball Z. Fusion dance. In 3D. When? Question mark, question mark, question mark. There we go. Requested by the Koi's. There we go. Yeah, alright, I paint them already. <laughs> Let's go. What would their fusion name be? I have no idea. Isn't it different depending on what fusion they do? Like, uh, what was it like? Goku and Vegeta, but with the fusion dance is Vegito, or is it the Patara beads, the earrings that makes Gogeta? Yeah, it's Gogeta or Vegito. I forget which one because different for uh, different fusions causes one or other personality to be dominant, which is where you get Vegito or Gogeta, but I forget which one is which. It's been a while since I've seen those. Yeah, earrings make a difference because um, the style of fusion causes uh, one personality or like a main, like a dominant personality or something like that. I forget what the exact specifics are. It's been a long time since I've seen them. Dance is Gogeta, earrings are Vegito. Okay, the fusion dances. Gogeta, Patara earrings are Vegeta. Okay, okay. Ooh. <gasps> I wonder. Like, Axe, Axe Tear? Alt, Altzel? No, how, how do you... Gogeta is the first half of Goku and the second half of Vegeta. So it would be the first half of Altair and the second half of Axel. Altaxel? 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 Mm, doesn't really roll off the tongue very well. And then like... Yeah, both... It's hard when they're both of the names start with an A. They, they, all, they also share very similar vowels and consonants too. Also, Axel's name is like... Hmm... I guess it's a bit different because like... Altair and Axel, both of their names are two syllables, as opposed to Goku and Vegeta, which are uh, one or two and three syllables. So it's a bit easier to combine the two. Axtair, 
alt alt soul and axe tear they combine into axel axolotl <laughs> they combine into just a regular normal axolotl <laughs> Oh, that'd be kind of cool. I want to see, though. Oh, man. And my brain's, like, just racking, like, what would the fan art look like? That'd be kind of cool to see them in 3D. Ooh. Altair Sirios. Oh, if we include their last names, or I guess their given names and their surnames, if we include those, like... Regis Sirius or like Altair no uh, Axel Regis Sirius or is it Axel A Axel Altair or like uh, maybe maybe including their last names and first names would help but I'm having a difficult time because I can't write it down I I'm sure someone who is more creative than me they can can put it together <laughs> Regios. <laughs> oh man. Imagine like getting a filter, a voice filter, like how um Gogeta and Vegito have like the voice filter. They both where it sounds like both of them are talking at the same time. Oh, that'd be kinda cool. Whenever I see Regios, I think I see Regios from Monster Hunt MH Monster Hunter? For you? I'm sorry, I don't know what the acronym is. Reggie O sound like an Aria <laughs> Oh no, now that you say that, it does sound like a cereal, actually. Mmm, <laughs> Reggie O is part of your balanced breakfast. Full of vitamins and nutrients. <laughs> full of vitamins and minerals. Oh, oh, Reggie O's. Or something like that. I think no, I think that's an actual I think that's an actual jingle. Cheerios? I forget. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, something like that. You, you, the the idea is the vision is there, but my hands are not skilled enough to paint the vision. There, that's how I'll say it. DMCA, DMCA, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna go put away the rest of these. Oh, look at them big smiles. So cute. Oh, that's right. Gotta get rid of the cotton plugs because these are full up. I was thinking of the Pokemon like Reggie Ice, Reggie Rock. Oh, that's true. It does have that too. We gotta make that make it sure that it avoids that test kind of stuff. Because we need to show, we need to convey that it's a fusion of those two and not a not like a Pokemon. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this last bit here. And then. Wait, excuse me. Excuse me. And then I think I'll go ahead and call. <laughs> I think I'll go ahead and call it here for tonight, chat. Because, like I mentioned previously, I am trying to stream more frequently, but. Uh, less, uh, more frequently, but shorter individual streams. Just so that my VODs don't end up being like super chunky six hour long VODs. So, still trying to practice that. So, I think I'll just go get this finished up here. And then we'll call it here. Yeah, I don't want it to be, I don't want it to end up being a, like someone wants to start watching one of my VODs, but they're like, oh, I should be streams like eight hours all the time. So, that's like a whole work day, you know? Yeah. Thanks for the stream, can I do one? Yeah. All right. Quick, quick, quick. Gotta go sell, gotta go sell. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I think good timing too, because we're getting, I'm getting, I'm getting the eeps. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, look at that. Very close on our way to getting that 50k, which is only halfway to how much I want. I want at least 100k. Ooh. Ooh. All right, 
Sorry, chat. I forgot there was like a, a bunch more in the teleporter. This this isn't a one more thing. This is this is like part of the part of the ending. Okay, this isn't one more thing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Can we get to almost 50k? Uh 2k short, but good enough, good enough. Alright, chat. <sighs> we Thank you all for stopping by. I didn't realize how much more there was going to be for this game. Um, here, I want to outro so that it, I don't get tempted to keep playing. <laughs> outro time. I like how your long stream company through work, but I appreciate the decision. Yeah, I'll try to have a good mix here and there. Um, if I'm able to find the time, I'll go ahead and try to do some longer streams here and there. But I kind of want to save those for like event streams. Um, so like if ever there is, you know, like another rust season or some other big event that's taking place, I want to make those kind of stand out a bit more as opposed to making so many of my streams just standard, uh, like eight hour streams now. But yeah, thank you all again for stopping by. Whoa. As a quick reminder, um, this coming February 26th, uh, to March 6th, I'll be taking a one and a half week break. So please keep your eyes out for that. More information then, I'll try to be active, but there will not be any uh, scheduled streams. So please do support the other boys during that time. Um, yeah, tomorrow we have a fun uh, solo stream of Demonologist. Uh, it is another one of those like you go into the houses and you search for clues and you try to figure out what the uh, what the ghost is type of game and I'll be doing a solo run of that just because I want to experience what it's like first before we play and collab with the boys so do keep your eye out for that tomorrow we're going to be some spooky spooky and otherwise thank you all again for stopping by Hanabi thank you for the super 99 thank you for your stream of course of course thank you so much for stopping by and spending some of your hours here with me let me send you over to, it looks like Gerard is streaming, so have a wonderful time over at Gerard's stream. Uh, warning, mood whiplash and vibe change and loud shouting noises, so this is your warning. Bye bye, have a great time over there.